The Ardra Continent, once of the realm of Lapis. Long have tales of the crystals centered upon this land, where nations struggled ceaselessly for a chance at supremacy. Though small and surrounded by more powerful nations, the Kingdom of Leonis maintained its presence thanks to an ancient ring bestowed upon the Kingdom by the Winged One. The ability to summon and command visions, thoughts and emotions made manifest, was indeed a palpable military threat to the other kingdoms. Repeated brushes with cruel fate, however, quietly eat away at the bonds that keep the kingdom intact. Now, upon whom will the resplendent crystals smile in this land of rivaling warlords? This must be the village. Nervous brother. What of you, Stern? Not actually enjoying this, are you? If vanquishing monsters means an opportunity to accompany you to the field, then yes. The castle walls are stifling. Is that so? There will be time for words later. Foes, bombs are in our midst. Brother, prepare yourselves. Well done, brother. All I did was... Lord Mont, it is just as your brother says. Now it is just a matter of how to gain more experience with the ring. vision has vanished. It seems that you have yet to master its power. You tell it true, Lord Stern. Now, let us return to the castle. The road home should provide ample opportunity for combat training. thought we'd run into monsters here! Protect Lady Mushery! What is all this ruckus? Monsters have appeared. But worry not, my lady. We shall eliminate them post haste. What timing? I was looking for a reason to get some fresh air. Leave this to me. Incredible! So this is the power of the ancient relic passed down through Horn's royalty. Let us journey onward, for better or worse.
something the matter, Schutzelt. Worry not. I shall handle these ruffians in short order. I do so miss our castle. Princess. I know. It's for the good of the kingdom. My sympathies, my lady. If only I'd been born a man. Then I could rush headlong into battle with you. Hmm. That is quite enough. Then I shall ask you but one question. You dare stand in the way of Lady Mashiri's carriage? I do not answer to you. I see. Then there's but one explanation. You lot are from Leonis, are you not? In that case, may the Leonisians bear your enmity! A report from the border, sire. A brigade is under attack by bandits near the border of Horn. Bandits? Father, allow me! No, I will be the one to go. But why? Do you believe me incapable? Do not be so quick to seek glory. I couldn't care less about glory. Please provide a reason! In due time. You always say that, Father. But when? Soon enough. We need not discuss this further. <sighs> you always say that fighting on the field is the only true way to train. Is that not so, Father? Precisely. Then... The Leonis line shall live on, even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. Take those words to heart, and not else. <sighs> Mont, begin preparations. Call together your swordsmen. Calum will march. Yes, father. Helena. Hold the castle in our absence. As you will, my king. I pray for your safe return. Kitone. Watch over Stone. I'm sure he does nothing rash. As you wish. His father doubt me so. I'll never be more than the second born prince. This many monsters are roaming just beyond the castle walls. It's a prime opportunity to display the results of your training. The Ancient Ring! You do know how to wield it. Of course, Father. It can call forth visions, the spirits of heroes. Murmur, whisper, breath. France. I did it! Contain yourself. You are the Elder Prince of Leonis. Right. Let us press onward. Excellent work, Lord Mont. Your command in battle was admirable. I beg to differ. You shouldn't be so quick to make light of your abilities, my lord. Uh, but... 
I'm saying that you ought to be more sure of yourself. More sure of myself? No one doubts that you're growing stronger, other than you, that is. Your abilities are unrivaled. Unrivaled? Save that kind of talk for Stern. You may not look alike, but there's no mistaking your twins all the same. You're like two peas in a pod. Stern and I, two peas in a pod? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Have I ever been one for falsehoods or flattery? Well, no. But no one has ever said that he and I are alike. I've always wanted to be as strong as Stern, so that I can be of use to Father. And you will be, Lord Mont. I guarantee it. Why the delay? We make haste. Uh, right. Let's get going. Rain. I doubt even you would be able to read the stars in this weather. Stars are neither for reading nor seeing, Your Majesty. Those who rely solely on their eyes will overlook what is of true import. Then how is it done? By closing your eyes? If it serves, yes. But if you listen closely, you can hear it. The whispering song of the stars. And what do the stars sing of? Blood and ruin. A song that will illuminate the world in radiant light at the end of it all. Blood and ruin? Must be the ever-growing menace the monsters damn us with. And a radiant light at the end of it all, you say? Oh, interesting. Could mean wealth, or maybe glory. Monsters are not the only beings capable of bringing about blood and ruin. Could it be that a great war is on the horizon? It may be just so, Your Majesty. A war with Fennis. Fennis is not alone in targeting our homeland. The great houses of Horn and Wazette also share our borders. And that may be so, but we harbor no ill will toward Horn or Wazette. For the time being, should that balance be destroyed, what then would come to pass? Havoc would run through our humble nation. More monsters! Cut them down, Mont. <sighs> yes, Father! That carriage! Opportune timing. Your Majesty, they wear the armor of Horn. What is a carriage from Horn doing in Leona's territory? They must have crossed our border while being pursued by bandits. That is not out of the realm of possibility. It matters not. Let us seize this opportunity to win Horn's favor. So, the King of Leonis graces us with his presence. You fail to distinguish between friend and foe? Silence! I'll cut you all down at once. And who is this witch? Lilith, commander of Leonis's infantry. Caleb. Shutzelt, first sword of Solidus, Horn's royal guard. Oh, I've heard a thing or two about you. The reckless first sword, am I right? As have I about you, Blaze of the Battlefield. You certainly look the part. And if you don't watch your tongue when addressing His Majesty, I'll be sure to burn you to nothing but ashes. Amusing, aren't we? Shall I befoul the fallen rain with your blood? Enough. But, Lady Marcherie! Did he say Marcherie? 
Well, if it isn't the Princess of Horn herself. She's the beautiful Steel Maiden? It seems this is Leona's territory. We apologize for the trouble caused. Pay it no mind. It is fortunate that Leonis and Horn are not on hostile terms. <clears throat> it would be our pleasure to have you as honored guests. You have my deepest gratitude. Mont, take care not to embarrass yourself in front of a proper lady. <laughs> I won't! Mont, where have I heard that name before? Now, to make these bandits regret setting foot in my kingdom. Enemy reinforcements! They don't seem like just any old bandits. It could be that a foreign power is pulling their strings. You might be right. Do you truly believe such a thing? What reason would we have to lie? <clears throat> if not Leonis, then... Could they be in the service of Wisette? It's possible. Horn and Wisette are at odds with one another after all. Choose your words wisely, Mont. Unless you have forgotten, Wisette and Leonis are on friendly terms. Forgive my carelessness. Right now, it doesn't matter from whence these thugs hail. The problem is their numbers. Any thoughts, King Elda? Meeting force with force is not the Leonis way. I take it you have a plan? Abandon the carriage. Retreat to the forest. You... you can't be serious. In this rain, Lady Mashiri will... Be just fine. We are in Leonis, after all. Let us do as the lions do. Mont, guard Lady Marshall. Yes, Father. Mont. Mont. Oh, that's right. You're the Prince of Leonis. Yes. I've heard the Prince of Leonis is one of the finest swordsmen in the land, with a temper to boot. Lady Mashuri, I believe you are mistaking him for the other prince, Prince Stern. Oh, now I remember. Twin princes, as similar as a Mughal and a Marlboro. I see that now. Well then, Crown Prince, give us a show. More reinforcements. It looks like they won't rest until they've taken my life. I've never been pursued so passionately before. Pursued, you say? King Elda, at this rate... Our enemy does not falter. Prepare to respond in kind. You speak of the ring, correct? Ring? Where the devil did they all come from? Leonis, a small nation surrounded by major powers. This ring is how you've maintained your independence. Very perceptive, as expected of Lady Mashari. That ring, I suppose it is an ancient relic. Indeed, and something that I would show only to you, Lady Mashari. Let this be proof of the trust we have for one another. Yes, proof of our trust. Lady Mashiri! It's nothing. I'm fine. Does something trouble you? Not in the least. Father, the enemy has further reinforcements. Savages. 
Let us retreat for now and strike back at our own advantage. Not but ruins. All wiped out by monsters? Nay. The villagers were moved elsewhere before they met a grim fate. A true king of the people you are. It was all at Mont's urgency. He insisted upon it. That's quite a surprise. Surprise? What do you mean? I'd taken you for little more than your father's pup. <sighs> no need to be upset. If anything, my impression of you has improved. Just a tad. Here they come! There's just no quit in them. I bear new tidings, Your Majesty. Out with it. It appears the bandits are gathering in the forest just ahead. We estimate they have thrice our numbers. These are no common cutthroats. Their forces are too great. Then whose orders are they acting on? Would Lady Mashari not hold the answers we seek? There's little doubt who is their prey. Unfortunately, my enemies are too many. The time has come for you to share your knowledge. What do you want to know? Why did you trespass into the land of Leonis in lieu of sending me word of your travels? I did trespass in your kingdom. I suppose an explanation is in order. My carriage was en route to Fennis. To Fennis? But you must know that they are an enemy of Leonis. For what purpose? To wed Moraga. What? You're to wed King Moraga of Fennis? Dejection doesn't suit you. Dejection? Very well. It seems our suspicions weren't unfounded after all. Yet you knew nothing of this marriage, King Elda. Is that not true? Wait a minute. Though you'd have to traverse the mountains, you would be able to enter Fennis without stepping foot in Leonis. Precisely. However, our coachman chose this route so as to avoid monsters. In doing so, we entered your territory. And that's exactly when the bandits decided to strike? Isn't that convenient? No word of this is a lie! Uh, more of them are coming. Father, we should retreat before our allies suffer any further losses. Hmm. I can't abide that. What are you? I've not the slightest interest in weak men. Weak men? Mont, it would seem Lady Mashari has taken a liking to you. Lady Mashari! Show me strength that can move even the most hardened of hearts. Wonderful. We're surrounded. If we had retreated, we could be eating by now. These fools from Horn have entangled us in a right old mess. Don't speak around your complaints. Spit them out. Enough! This is my fault. If only I were stronger, this wouldn't have happened. Your strength has not to do with this, Lord Mont. It's just bad luck. This necklace, it's... Use it. 
Is that another ancient relic? Very perceptive. Father bequeathed it to me as my dowry. An ancient relic for use as a dowry? What's the matter, Mont? Use it quickly! Impressive for your first time. I never thought you would be able to wield it so well. Maintain your focus, Lord Mont. Here they come! Strike them down with all your might, Mont. What? If my eyes don't deceive me, you could become even stronger. What is it? So my eyes are mistaken, I take it? No, why? I believe you! There's no end to them. Hmm. Are you going to suggest retreating again? We have no choice. Your life is of the utmost importance. Don't make me laugh. You think me intimidated by these whelps. <laughs> How brave, Princess. Allow me to show our gracious king and his son how a lady conducts herself on the battlefield. Schutzelt, to arms! Yes, my lady! You mean to fight? You can't be serious! You've certainly gotten better. As have you. Solidus could make fine use of someone with your talents, Lady Mashari. Oh, Schutzelt. You've been working on your flattery as well, I see. Those two are... incredible. Her talent is on par with the First Sword of Solidus. It would seem she is not simply some insufferable princess. Something you'd like to say, King Elda? Please speak freely. <laughs> You've made this warrior's blood run warm for the first time in an age. Then we shall fight together. Look. Their leader shows his face. The one orchestrating this attack. You'd best be on your guard, Lord Mont. Lilith. Their leader, no doubt, will be more skilled than the rest. Right. Mort, to battle. The time has come for the Elder Prince of Leonis to demonstrate his worth. Yes, Father. Well, well, well. It looks like you're really going to protect me from this rabble. <sighs> what is it? Has the cat got your tongue? I'll protect you. I swear it. Do you... desire me? That's... Or maybe... you simply want to keep the ancient relic of mine currently in your possession. Uh, I've no interest in your ancient relic. And I've no interest in weak men. If you want me, then prove your worth before I forget about you completely. Uh. Have we failed? Even with our numbers? They're not human! After them! I've grown tired of this. What are you saying? This is our best opportunity to rid ourselves of the bandits. Did I not make myself clear? I'm telling you that I'm tired. This freezing cold rain has soaked me to the bone, and this needlessly long fight has left my legs stiff as planks. Are you certain? If we let them off so easily, 
That's no concern of mine. I'm a princess of Horn. Is this the hospitality Leonis has to offer? <laughs> then let us withdraw to a warm hearth. Enjoy this victory while it lasts, for it is not over yet. On the contrary, it has only just begun. The territory of Finnis lies due north of here. So the hospitality of Leonis was for naught. King Elder. You have our deepest gratitude. Alas. Enough. There's no need for that. The relationship between Fennis and my beloved Leonis remains at odds. If Lady Masharine were to wed into Fennis, it would doom us to a relationship of hostility as well. <sighs> In that case... Stop this madness at once and put your swords away. Lady Marchery, the day must wear on you. What are you insinuating? To be blindsided by these... Monsters! King Elda, can we truly trust you? Shitzelt, is this how you thank the king that saved your life? My duty is to escort Lady Mashiri to Fennis without fail. I will gladly suffer your accusations of insolence to keep my lady safe. Enough, Shitzelt. I've no intention of setting foot in Fennis. But Lady Mashiri. What of your engagement to King Moraga? Surely you've noticed something amiss. These raids of late are... suspicious. Yes, my lady. King Elda, I'd like to see Leona's castle. Would I be welcome? Very well. Pray, come and feast your eyes on our most celebrated den, the Castle of Lions. The alliance between Horn and Fennis will be tested if Mashuri refuses to wed. Not will come of it. The alliance is not so fragile. How can you be so sure? Not a fortnight has passed since the daughter of King Moraga of Fennis. Unbelievable. You mean to say this daughter has wed Prince Dario? Yes, Your Grace. Unsettling words. Mention of a daughter had not even crossed into my kingdom. Truly? Curiouser and curiouser. Lady Moshery, your purity misleads you. You give them too much faith. We speak not but the truth. Perhaps. But in Horn, Lady Venera has already. That Kerr Moraga. What in the world is he planning? What's the matter, Shitzelt? It'd be rude to keep King Elda waiting any longer. Suspicion haunts my thoughts, my lady. Suspicions about the daughter of Moraga? I see no reason why King Moraga would deceive us. Deception leads to betrayal. Maybe Horn will not find a true ally in Moraga. You speak of treachery. Horn would bow to them if they took me hostage. Hmm. Are you still not convinced? Then tell me, whose hand directed those bandit scum? King Elda insists that King Moraga is lining their purses. Yet, if he truly intended to take my lady hostage, or worse yet, end your life, then there are much easier methods. You're right. 
And yet, I've no desire to return to Horn for the time being. I'm not certain of King Elda, but his son Mont doesn't strike me as villainous. Hmm. Understood, Lady Masheri. If you truly believe so. Apologies for all of this, Shitzelt. You are too kind, my lady. Promise me that no matter what happens, you will return home safely. Your wedding day draws near, does it not? In three days. I wish both you and Naya all the happiness in the world. We have all we could wish for. In that case, I wish for more happiness than you could ever wish for. We humbly accept it. Well then, let's be off. We'll win no favors keeping them waiting. Once we get through this forest, we should be able to see Leona's castle. I'd heard tales of it being a remote castle. Alas, I never expected it to be quite so... wonderful. You are as adept with flattery as you are with a sword. I only speak the truth. You must forget me. I have some business to attend to. Venice. Moraga's lackwits. It appears that we've become Lady Mashery's abductors. <sighs> Mont, ready yourself. We shall meet the Fennis army in battle. But father... Have you some objection? Fennis is our enemy. I have no qualms about doing what needs to be done. But can we not resolve this with diplomacy, rather than needlessly risk the lives of our soldiers and people? So you believe this fight to serve no purpose? No, that's not what I... Then allow me, Father. Give me the order! So this is the second-born prince, Stern. Correct, my lady. His skills with the sword are said to surpass even the king's. For reasons unbeknownst to me, Seems he has never deployed in wars with foreign powers. Is that so? Father! You shall keep watch at the castle. Kiton, keep a close eye on him. As you wish. I... Why do you hold me back? My answer remains unchanged. The Leonis line must live on even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. That is all. We march to war! Let Fennis hear our roar! Father, this war will take all the power we can muster. I can feel it. Do you believe Stern should shed his blood alongside us? Spit it out. I do, Father. You fear routing Fennis without your brother's strength? <sighs> if Fennis marches their main force, you shouldn't take them lightly. What are you doing here? Beware the Legion Ruina. A direct blow by that force means certain defeat. Father, what is Mashari doing here? Lady Mashari is accompanying us in the battle of her own volition. Your fears are unfounded. I can take care of myself. Maybe I should protect you, too. Make haste before it's too late. Return to the castle at once. It was more comfortable than I'd expected. I'll give you that. But I'm not one for staying put. We beg your pardon, Lord Mont. Besides, isn't it better for me to accompany you? What do you mean? I 
am worried about the Alliance Fennis has struck with Horn. As a result, we will surely have to battle against Horn as well. I see. Was your intention to lock me up inside Leona's castle as your prisoner, then? Of course not! It wouldn't be a bad move. Father, tell her that we would never... ...of all the cowardly tactics. Mont, don't be such a whelp. Shitzelt, do the honors for me. We are the pieces that will greatly influence this war. The only choice other than winning is death. Understand now? There are no cowardly tactics. Nothing is forbidden. If you do wish to take me hostage, then we must flee back to the castle before meeting Fennis' army. Do you... have no fear of death? You shouldn't be afraid to die. You should fear others dying for you. Your Majesty! The Venice Army readies for battle ahead! So they have come. Unleash the proud lions of war! Fight to the last! How fares the battle? Though their numbers are small, the soldiers of Leonis take to war like those born for it. They have the advantage of the land. You could see the accomplishments of commanding with precision. If Prince Mont were to continue growing in this way... Yes, he could definitely become a threat. Just give the order, and I'll gladly wander into the fray and unhead his body. Do no such thing. Lady Mashri, you cannot mean... That... that shall not do. Why? Because he's an enemy? Answer me this. Do you think that we really have an alliance with Venice? Well, yes, of course. I believe it to be true. The daughter of King Moraga has wed to Horn, and soon you shall wed to Fennis. King Elda's words play on my mind. He claims that King Moraga has no daughter, yet he must be mistaken. My lady watches Lord Mont, does she not? Like a hawk, I have a keen eye for people. Father would have benefited from that skill himself. But alas... You have my sympathies, my lady. If it were not for the threat to the West... The sun has set. We know the lay of this land better than any other. Press our advantage! But it's no use, Lord Mont! Enemies! Mont, use the necklace! Right! <laughs> it seems like we got here just in time. I take back what I said. It appears as though my eye for people is a little misty. I must take after my father. You are too harsh on yourself. Do my ears deceive me? Or are you vouching for Mont? Well, at a glance he seemed to be just another frail prince raised in luxury. However, with the courage he has shown since, my stance has changed. I find that purity of heart to be truly radiant. Radiant, you say? That light. It could summon forth the dawn of a new day. Or be lost to the all-consuming darkness of war. I hope I get to see it. To see what fate holds for the man named Mont.
That was it. Right there. There is no mistaking it. Yes. That Esper came out of nowhere and obliterated the 1st Battalion. No one in Leonis should be in possession of a relic that summons forth an Esper. Meaning that Mashari is somewhere on this battlefield. I shall locate her immediately. Stand down. I'll take care of this myself. But King Moraga... War is for fighting. There is no place for gawkers. The true pleasure of battle lies in death throes and bloodbaths. Leonis has my pity, your fierceness. They'll not need it for long. Sir! You're... King Moraga of Fennis! Now's our chance! Bite off the head of Moraga! Even a demon could not stand a chance against our numbers! Ready yourselves! Silence, you slugs! I want to hear not, but the wrenching of screams! Hear me, Elder. I'll take my pound of flesh for your crime of taking Mashri. Hold on, my sweet Mashri. Are you all right? Hold firm! Forgive me, my lord. This wound is deep. No ordinary swordsman wielded the blade that cut this. It couldn't be. It was... Moraga, my lord. He's... here. Lord Mont, take this soldier and leave now. You're telling me to retreat? Moraga is no ordinary foe. But I have you, Lilith. I am but one person. Victory is far from certain. Do you find me of no use to you at all? I'm afraid so, my lord. Apologies, of course. Moraga is bloodying his blade to take back Mashari. <clears throat> That's why I can give him no quarter. I've told you already, Lord Mont. This fight will cost you your life. The Leonis line shall live on, even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. King Elda's words. I'll defeat him. So just lend me your strength. Is that an order? And if it was, then I would obey, gladly. After all, I swore to be Lord Mont's blade till I draw my last breath. <sighs> I sure am hungry. You would speak about your stomach at a time like this? So scared you just want to turn tail and scamper back to the castle, huh? Well, yes. I'd like to return. No enemies at the castle, and food aplenty. 
Don't you want to go back too, Layart? Don't group me together with you. I'd like to get a reward for proving myself in battle. Reward? Didn't you say you only wanted honor? Did I? Also, remember saying you wanted to be led by Stern and Fordham rather than being in Kalem? Uh, hold your tongue! Someone might hear you. True though, isn't it? You'd get a closer view of Stern after all. I, I want nothing of the sort. I think I finally realized. Oh. And is Lord Mont the new object of your affection instead of Lord Stern? You flat-mouthed fool! Oh, you are truly dense. Hmm? You intend to serve your whole life? You saying the life of a soldier isn't for you? Well, I could save up enough money to buy myself a peaceful place somewhere and just retire. Oh, I never thought of that. What about you? You don't have any concerns about the future? Hmm, whatever will be, will be, I say. for this big oaf of all people. Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing at all. On your feet. The enemy approaches. So, this is where we lay our ambush. Seems a good plan to me. We have thorough knowledge of this land. We must use that to our advantage. This is true, and yet... There are so many stars out tonight. Each one tells of danger. Shadows lurk in the darkness. What do you mean? Allow me to show you. What the? Don't move. <clears throat> A shinobi from Horn? That necklace you hold. I believe that belongs to Lady Masheri. What has become of her? Do your eyes fail you, shinobi? Can you not see who stands right there? Lady Masheri, she's not alone. Shitzelt is by her side, too. Does it look as though they are our prisoners? I see. Then I shall spare your lives. However, next time you will not be so lucky. She vanished. Apologies, Lord Mont. This is inexcusable. I hope that Shinobi gets a proper explanation. Explanation? If Mosheri explains that we helped her after her carriage was set upon by those bandits. Maybe this fight would be over, but... When next we fight Fennis, will not Horn aid them in battle? Should that come to pass, we would stand little chance of victory. That's right. So long as we're at war with Fennis, Horn will also be our enemy. As would Lady Mosheri. What should we do? The only way for us to survive is to defeat Moraga before Horn's reinforcements arrive. And it must be done by whatever means necessary. Lynx? You are unharmed, my lady. I see that my ever-worried father has sent you. It was my decision to come, my lady. What is it? I have a message for Shitzelt. It could be. Is it about my... <sighs> what is it? What happened? Out with it! Naya is no longer with us. What? What are you saying? That's impossible! 
There was talk of you being a Leonis spy, conspiring with bandits and taking Our Lady Masherie hostage. Who would breathe such foul lies into existence? One of King Moraga's shinobi claims to have seen the whole affair take place. <sighs> Gather yourself, Shitzelt. Lynx, I need to hear it. Who murdered my beloved Naya? Sharing that information won't be necessary, Lynx. <sighs> Loosen your tongue, or else... I'll strike you down here and now. Lady Mushery. Lord Mont, they're heading straight for us. His Majesty King Rob still has faith in Shitzelt. However, King Moraga flew into a rage when he defended Shitzelt. He spoke of treachery, a secret alliance with Leonis in an attempt to destroy Fenis. Ridiculous. He took it as a great offense after having married his dearest daughter to the House of Horn. King Rob could not utter a word in kind. And so he offered Naya as proof of his loyalty? No. Without so much as a word to King Rob, King Moraga gave the command to a shinobi in his charge. There can be no mercy. Perhaps this very upheaval is what Fenis was hoping for. Shitzelt, you are turning your blade against Fenis. That was precisely Moraga's goal. Do you not understand? <sighs> Father will not be able to oppose Moraga. And to add insult to injury, now Moraga plans to get rid of me as well. His last breath will be drawn before my blade, I swear it. Even if by doing so, you destroy our homeland? <sighs> Forgive me for speaking so plainly. There is no fault in speaking of what has already passed. But alas, we will not raise our swords against Leonis. Leonis is the enemy, my lady. Should you disobey me, you will die. Understood? You have my loyalty, my lady. <sighs> that mangy Moraga. I'd heard tell of his savagery but never his wits. We must prepare ourselves for the worst. Mont. Wow, someone is looking for a fight. Shitzelt. Are you not Lady Ma Sherry's escort? Just where do you think you're going? To slay Moraga. Moraga is our enemy as well. We should stand together and... No. He is mine and mine alone. Out of my way. The stars are unusually boisterous this night. Should I go after him? The answer to your question is not an easy one to give. <sighs> Should one choose to live on, even though one suffers in despair? Or should one seek death, to afford one's soul its respite? You are truly suggesting that it's better to let someone die, are you? Who is to say? Fickle is the wind that fills the sails of a ship. I can't leave that fool to go off on his own like that. Then what do you plan on doing? I request your permission to go after him. I'll bring him back here, or I'll fight at his side. No telling which it will be. But we mustn't leave him to his own devices. Very well. 
Thank you, Lord Mont. I'll be back before you know it. Lilith sees her former self reflected in Lord Schutzelt. What are you doing here? Lady Moshery. Whatever has become of your knightly guardian? She's gone off somewhere in search of Schitzelt. I see. Has something happened? The truth of it is... Most terrible. But why would that knight go to such lengths to help Schitzelt? Lilith lost someone precious to her in the war with Fenis too. A lover? No, a brother. That makes sense. I suppose it is pain that bonds them. Then there is not else we can do. Just a moment. What are you planning? With one knight gone, you'll need another to fill her place. I'll be your bodyguard. Just be grateful. <sighs> what, not happy about it? No, it's great. I mean, it's fine. Then let's be off. Follow my lead. You've proven yourself to be more capable than I thought. Hmm. What troubles you, Mont? <sighs> you will gain nothing by getting lost in your thoughts. A apologies, I'm just... worried. About Lilith and Schitzelt? No, about... you. Worried about me? Perhaps you finally become a man. You mock me. <sighs> Moraga will catch wind of us soon enough, should we continue fighting like this. Are you concerned about the Alliance with Fenis breaking apart? The Alliance isn't my concern, but rather what the future holds for you. I fear it is dark. <sighs> you are not long for this world, Mont. Huh? Battlefield is no place for a kindness such as yours. It doesn't matter. I have no desire to be a hero. Then what do you want to be? Nothing in particular. I am who I am. I don't want to slay a thousand enemies. I want to keep one person safe. That is why I fight. Keep one person safe? Are you talking about me? Yes. I'll protect you, no matter what. You have my word. I shall hold you to that, Mont. I heard what happened. And so you abandoned the prince to hound me out of pity? Pity. <sighs> Perhaps. What would you know of what I'm dealing with? What would I know of it? More than you realize. <clears throat> I lost somebody to Fenis too. My brother. Slain in battle. Your brother? Desperate to take Moraga's head, I left Leonis. I couldn't rest until he lay dead. Alas, I never did get my revenge. Your warning falls on deaf ears. I know he is to be feared, but there are some fights from which a man can never back down. And there are fights from which a woman can never back down. Maybe I can put to rest one of my oldest desires, if we work together. 
Do as you please. There he is. A cur. Moraga! Oh. Well, if it isn't the backstabbing knight who betrayed Venice. Wave your forked tongue elsewhere. We see through your lies. Brought another brave knight with you too, huh? Come to unhead me before Horn's troops arrive, have you? Lilith, was it? I remember you. And there's something you should remember. You don't have the metal to beat me. I've changed. And this time, I'm not alone. What's changed? Nothing. One slug, two slugs. You cannot lay a finger on me. Enough of the boasts. Ready your blade. <laughs> the first sword of the Solidus Royal Guard. Been a while since I had a bit of fun. Is that... Even together, the two of them did not stand a chance. There you are, my sweet. Start begging for your life. Tell me you can't wait to bear me a son. Do it, and you might save your own skin. Revolting. You make me sick. Revolting? Me? Then you can die with the rest of them! Lynx! What the? Damn it! A smoke bomb! You slugs! Thought I'd come unprepared! This is our second dance! Craven slugs! This isn't the last of me! I'll pay you back in blood for this! Damn it! Great timing! There you are. That voice! King Elda! The king? You've crossed blades with Moraga. We've certainly mucked things up. Then there's not for it. I must go. No, King Elda. We must retreat for now. Oh. The brave princess deigns to retreat? But alas, first we must dispose of this filth. Shitzelt, how are your wounds? Forgive me, Lady Mashari. It's okay. Don't apologize. Hooray! Reinforcements! Reinforcements? It couldn't be. Horn! The reinforcements hail from Horn! Then it is too late. Daybreak. What are you dithering about for? We need to get out of here now, else they will catch us. Mushery, 
could you not return to Horn alone? If the situation were explained to your father, surely we could come to an understanding. So much for your royal education. Pardon me? Do you not comprehend, Mont? The only one spared in such a plan would be Lady Mashri herself. Precisely. Taking me as your hostage will allow you to negotiate with Father. As our hostage? But that would... Did the words not fall out of your own mouth? I thought you swore to protect me. Well? I swore it then, and I'll swear it again now. I will protect you. As you should. Then let us retreat. Leona's castle awaits my return. A brigade was being set upon by bandits near the border. King Elda and the Crown Prince Mont of the Kingdom of Leonis headed out to perform a rescue with the 2nd Division, Kalem, in tow. Whom should they find under attack? But Princess Mashari of the Kingdom of Horn. Mont and Mashari joined forces to rout the bandits. And only then did they learn the truth of the assault. Mashari had been en route to marry the King of Fenis, whose kingdom is a political enemy of Leonis. Now, under the pretext of reclaiming his bride-to-be, King Muraga has launched an invasion into Leonis' territory. Whereupon... Horn, ally of Fenis by marriage, has called its armies to unite under Moraga in this effort. Amidst the chaos of the battlefield, Mont promised Mashari that he would protect her at all costs. Alas. Your, your Highness. During the battle with Fenis, the Horn army. Father's plans may be to cut down Moraga before Horn's reinforcements arrive. Alas, if things continue at this rate, a battle with their allied forces will be unavoidable. A moment, Stern. If the misunderstanding with Horn were to be resolved, then we may be able to avert battle. The Princess of Horn survived her encounter with the bandits by virtue of Leonis's aid. Favors oft beget favors. Our relationship with Horn has thus far been amicable. Perhaps if the truth reaches their ears, they'll withdraw their soldiers. For the time being, at least. For the time being? Yes, it may solve the problem, but only temporarily. <laughs> Smart lad, that one. Oh, you are in agreement? King Rob seems to be a wise general with a strong respect for righteousness. They should cease their attack for now. However, should Fenis assail Leonis again... Horn would march onto Leonis' castle at full strength. Your counsel is much appreciated. Then it appears there is no scheme that can abate the threat of Horn. Not entirely accurate, Your Highness. There is one option. Indulge me. We must end Moraga's life. Master, will you not lend us your strength? Hmm. I heard tell that not even Lilith stood a chance against him. But with your help... Please, we humbly request your aid. Here we go again. Just as I was thinking about retirement, too. Master. It's not like I can refuse, now is it? Let's see how far we can push this aging sword, shall we? You have my deepest thanks. 
It's reassuring to have you fight with us. But you'd best strengthen your resolve. Moraga will not be defeated unless one courts death. <laughs> That cannot be allowed to happen. From King Elda himself. Stand down, Kiton. But... Kiton, you must understand. When swords are drawn, Lord Stern will never back down. <sighs> Beg pardon. His Majesty has already completed preparations for the retreat. Inconceivable. Father would have us hole up in the castle. But unfortunately, we are unprepared for such a situation. Even if we were to begin preparations now, we would not be able to finish in time. <laughs> it seems we have but one option left after all. Then let us depart. M mother you cannot be serious! What is the value in survival if it is mine alone? It would be better to reach our graves together. But... You speak of yourself as a grand warrior, yet you are unable to protect your own mother? They will not touch a hair on your head, mother. My thanks, Stern. Fordham, move out at once! I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you report back to King Elder? I'll see it done. But you can do better than that. Try saying it again, with a smile. After all, you get to be at Lord Mott's side. That's quite a windfall for you, isn't it? <laughs> Not another word. I'll protect Lord Stern with my life. I expect you to do the same for Lord Mont. Lord Stern. I know. That mangy Moraga. I'd heard of his savagery, but to think him capable of such devious plotting... Not what you'd expect from a man who takes what he wants by brute force, is it? <laughs> be that as it may, our enemies don't appear to be as great a number as I'd expected. It has been a while. Shall we give it our all, Master? Let us indeed. It's time we struck the fear of Fordham into the hearts of those who follow Moraga. Well, does it hurt? Get away from me, or I'll cut you down. My, how gallant. You have my deepest sympathies, but alas. Are you so naive as to think I can turn a blind eye to threats against my lord? Shitzelt, calm yourself. You think I won't strike you down just because you're a prince? <sighs> Trembling, are you? You spineless royal fool! You are right. I do not have what it takes to be a prince. What did you say? But you do not have what it takes to be a royal guard either. Sh shut your mouth! <clears throat> Why... Why didn't you move? A man like you cannot fulfill your duty to Ma Cherie. I shall be her shield. My sincerest apologies. My subject was not himself. 
Pay it no heed. Mont antagonized him. The wounds are mere scratches. I apologize further for speaking freely. However, it seems that Mont has come into his own rather quickly. All thanks to you, if I hazard a guess. Thanks to me? Let's get out of here. Revenge has slipped our grasp. We should lick our wounds and bide our time. Prepare to retreat! Ketone, by your pale hue, I presume you bring dark tidings. Forgive me, your grace. Stern has departed to do battle. With Stern's aid, we can turn this war around. Stern? You mean the heir to the Leonis crown? Oh, my apologies. No need for apologies. Stern's skill with the sword is true enough and far outmatches my own. Then you have given up? Given up what? Is it not obvious? The throne of Leonis. Who shall sit upon the throne will be decided by me. Ketone, relay this message to Stern. Retreat to the castle at once. What in the hell is the boy thinking? Leaving Helena to march to war. Big pardon, Your Grace, but Queen Helena is with him. She's what? The enemy is coming! A report from the field, Your Grace. It seems that Fenris reinforcements are heading this way, one after another. Reinforcements? From Venice? Seems word of our leaving the castle has already reached Moraga. There's more to him than I thought. Master, what do you make of Moraga's movements? That savage? It would seem that he's wary of you. Of me? King Elda stubbornly refused to send you into the battle against Venice. That's why Moraga is afraid of you, Lord Stern. You must be what they call a secret weapon. <laughs> You're saying that father kept me back for a time like this. Well, now we have a chance to seize victory, slight as it may be. What do you mean? That means Moraga could be underestimating Lord Mont's abilities. Insightful as always, Master. I reached a similar conclusion myself. Maybe his skill with the blade is lacking in comparison to yours, Lord Stern. However, he has seen war more times than one could count. Sometimes flowers bloom even on the battlefield. I think so too. Well then, shall we? I really must get loosened up. Oh, I've grown stiff from serving in the castle. <laughs> Does it hurt? Is whining a specialty of the Royal Guard and Horn? I've given up my position and my honor. I'm no longer a Royal Guard. You don't say? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Now you can use me as you will. Use you? Who's going to do that? Now that I've lost everything, I expect you'll use me for all I'm worth. I think you're mistaken. You can be the one to use us. What are you blathering about? There exists no war without bloodshed. However, there is certain blood that should never be spilt. Do you not agree? Moraga Fenis has done something that should never have been done. Are his sins not worthy of punishment? <sighs> Are 
Are you crying for my family? For Naya? War be damned and taken from this world. I have faith that Lord Mont and he alone can achieve that for us all. For that purpose, I'd use aught I have. So you should make use of us as well. <sighs> I fear you don't know a thing about how Lord Mont feels, do you? How Lord Mont feels? Didn't he just tell you? You don't have what it takes to be a royal guard. <sighs> Most likely, because he couldn't bear to see you suffering from the restrictions that come with that title. To use or be used, to be friend or to be foe. Such things are of no relation to what is right and wrong, is that not so? Hmm. He's a kind spirit, Lord Mont. He is. But that's why I always worry. Commander Lilith! What's the matter? Soldiers from Horn are arriving one after the other. Our forces are being pushed back. At this rate... Wait, wait. Where do you think you're going? Lord Mont still fights on the front lines. Don't go. Oh. Suddenly you're going to treat me like some frail little girl? Do you know what you're up against? Fighting Solidus is absurd! Escort these two. Escort Lady Mashari and Shitzelt to Leona's castle and make haste. Yes, Commander. Stop! Are you trying to get yourself killed? I'm not going to die yet. I'm doing this to live. Unlike you. Lilith. She's a fine woman. Not as much as me, though, so perhaps second best in the world. I think you mean third. Forget not about Naya. Fair enough. If you've a mind to jest, you can walk on your own two feet. What of Mashari and Shitzelt? No need to worry. I've commanded an armed escort to deliver them safely to Leona's castle. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Well then, let's smash this enemy brigade and beat a retreat. Sounds good to me. Pardon my intrusion. Fordham has arrived. Stern, you came for us. Brother, it seems the battle has been grueling. That's because my skill with the sword is not up to par with yours. Yet. Yet. Today alone I have tiptoed the edge between life and death so many times. I may have gotten a little stronger. Only a little. Brother, you underestimate yourself. Underestimate, you say? Save your breath for more peaceful times. We shall retreat at once. There is no need to retreat. We shall separate Moraga's head from his body. It must be done, Father. With Stern by our side, not even Moraga. Conceited fools! Horn's main force, Solidus, is meeting to join Moraga as we speak. There's no time to waste. However, the preparations to hold within the castle are... We will do no such thing. Then why head for the castle? Because you have me as your hostage. Mashari, what are you doing here? I think I'm valuable enough to stop Horn's invasion. Don't you agree? No, I won't allow it. Mont, hold the rear during our retreat. 
me? That's impossible. Mont isn't ready. Lady Mashari, you are our prisoner, are you not? I would like you to leave the planning to us. <sighs> Hold off the enemy here until we, the main force, are out of your periphery. Thereafter, make for the castle while evading their pursuit. Understood? Yes, Father. And Mont, don't die, all right? Of course. Brother, have faith. I'll see it done. Watch over Father. I'm sure he has some kind of plan in mind. He'll come to light soon enough. So... Soon enough, you say. Ramada, what do the stars say? What do they say? I am not sure if I should answer. You don't want to tell us? That must mean... Is our unit that hopeless? That is not my meaning. Once the future is known, it betrays you. That is why it should remain unsaid. I don't get it. Were I to declare here and now that our escape is to be a success, what would be the outcome? Perhaps the soldiers would be relieved and become overconfident. On the contrary, were I to declare that no man would be left alive, they might falter and flee before it even begins. You make a fair point. In either case, knowing half of what the future may hold can make it slip through your fingers like fine sand. So you're trying to tell us ignorance is bliss? Oft it is better not to know, yes. Well then, let's go and grab these unknown futures with our own hands, shall we? Ah, King Rob. My thanks. You fought hard. Enough with the pleasantries. Tell me, why did you slaughter Naya? Do you think I'd kill her without reason? You had a reason, I'm sure. Alas, I've heard no mention of it. Shitzelt isn't alone in this. There are others in Horn who ally with Leonis. Do you speak the truth? I needed to make an example of the woman to show those slugs who's boss. But... Traitors to their country are to be judged and damned. That's the way, isn't it? This should have guaranteed the peace of Horn for now. Hmm. Something's still troubling you. Are you not yet content? King Muraga? Are you truly King Muraga? Tell me, why are you asking? Uh, it's not, but... The impression you left during our previous engagement, it was markedly different. I am me. No one else can stand in my place. Hmm. And the battle? The goddess of victory showers her blessing over us. We are mighty. What is Mashari's status? She's safe, of course. Where is she? On this battlefield. Unbelievable. What are those Leonis scoundrels plotting? Nevertheless, Fenis will not yield. Their tails are already between their legs. No doubt, they'll hole up in their castle. If they succeed, it would be more than a nuisance. 
It is decided then. The pride of Horn will play its part. Solidus shall join the fray. Wretched Leonis, you shall be devoured one and all. Oh, there they go. Can't see our main force anymore. I wonder when we'll get to set off. If we don't hurry, the enemy forces will be upon us. Your brain is as dense as your belly. It's our duty to hold those forces off. Huh? Oh, right. It is, isn't it? And not simply hold them off. Once we've bought the main force some distance, we'll retreat and do this all over again. So you're saying that all the way back to the castle? Yes. No one is going to play savior for us. No matter what trouble may befall us. If your fear has the best of you, then you can run ahead. Run ahead? And join the main force? Yeah, no one would blame you for doing so. Joining up with the main force would guarantee a safe return to the castle. What's the matter? Oh, it appears not even one will take the offer. Here they come! A fight it is, then. Let the stars grant us their divine protection. We are Caleb. We will not fail! Lady Marcherie? Lynx, what's the matter? I seek your permission to return to King Rob's side. Do as you will. You're in my father's service, after all. <sighs> you plan to tell father of me, don't you? Yes. I will tell him that Lady Marcherie is going to Leonis of her own accord. <laughs> I wonder. What's gotten into you? What? It is pointless to deny it, Lynx. Your true concern is Mont. It is nothing of the sort. No matter. It's not as if I don't understand how you feel, after all. <sighs> Alas, the journey will not be easy. The road is rife with danger. I understand the risk. Though I did not inform you, I was attacked on my way here. I believe they were soldiers of Fenice. Perhaps they are planning to separate me from father. But if so, they would try again. Yet you still wish to return to father's side? Leonis is our enemy. There is naught that will change my thoughts on this matter. That said, I do not wish to toil in a senseless battle. Besides, Mont put his own life at risk to protect you, Lady Marcherie, as well as Shitzelt. That is why I, too, wish to be honored. That is just like you, Lynx. Then let me ask one more thing of you. Whatever you wish, my lady. Tell Father that Shitzelt has done nothing wrong. What is it? Is there nothing you wish to tell Mont? If he dies here like a dog, then that is all he will ever be. Understood, my lady. I will not fail you. Not once did I underestimate Caleb, but... This will not be an easy fight. Survive, Mont. News from the battlefield, your majesty. Venice's first division, in pursuit of the enemy, has been completely annihilated. So it would seem our enemies fight in earnest as well. There's nothing to worry about. The fight's only just getting started. That is not all, your majesty. The enemy's main force has already begun its retreat. Then they are surely preparing to hole up inside the castle. In which case, Prince Stern will no doubt lead their rear guard. It is said his sword arm is rivaled only by King Elda himself, 
and yet the prince has never appeared in battle. He must be too scared of me to step foot out on the battlefield. That would be fine if it were the case. However, King Elder must surely have some scheme in mind. Your Majesty, it is not Stern commanding the rear guard, but the leader of Kalem, a man called Mont. Prince Mont? The clawless cub of the Lion Twins? Yes, Your Majesty. So that swine elder plans to keep Stern in reserve. If that is the case, then he has assured our victory. Solidus, move out! Strike down the enemy ranks and show no mercy! The enemy's second division is advancing! Do not falter! Engage the enemy! What's become of our main force? They are no longer visible to the naked eye from here. Then I'd say they've gained enough distance. Let's ready our retreat, but don't let your guard down. I'm counting on you, Lilith. Right. We're the rear guard. We'll hold our ground even as we turn our backs to the enemy. The time has come, huh? It seems we'll be confronting Horn's main force soon. Horn's main force? You mean Solidus? It would appear so. We could fight this battle head on hundreds of times without a single victory. But we shall fight as we withdraw. In other words, with our backs to the enemy. Fighting retreat? Can we really pull it off? We can. Or rather, we must. <sighs> well then, let's get started. Maintain your focus. You're a shinobi of Horn. Weren't you with Mashari? I am returning to King Rob. I see. Then I hope you get back safely. What is it? If you die here like a dog, then that is all you will ever be. Was that a message from Mashari? No, Lady Mashari was merely speaking to herself. Is that so? Thank you. Try not to die. It would really sadden Lady Mashari if aught were to happen to you. The same goes for you. Do you think anyone would shed a tear for me? I would. Lord Mont, we must hurry. I know. Let's get going. Mont. What on earth are you doing? I don't think I can tolerate waiting any longer. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here you are. You should return to the castle tower. The evening wind weakens the strongest amongst us. It's said that Mont is the Elder Prince of Leonis. Indeed he is. What of it? Are you not worried? Mont would cease being a prince should the kingdom fall. Is there not a trace of a filial bond between you? No father would have wished for the safe return of his child. But alas, one cannot expect to fulfill his duty as guardian if he allows his heart to waver by dwelling on such things. His duty as a guardian? Whatever do you mean? It is none of your concern. Now, into the castle tower. After all, Mont's return to the castle is not guaranteed. <gasps> the castle! I can see the castle! 
At last. Almost time for a good long snooze. Don't lower your guard yet. I think we're safe since we made it this far, Lord Mont. Reinforcements could join us in short order. Is that truly the case? Am I missing something? If the King had that in mind, Forden would be at the ready. However, not stirs in the castle. Silence is chilling. Surely the King's busy preparing the castle for a siege. So... Father said he has no intention of holding the castle in a siege. It won't be long now till the enemy forces surround the castle. With the preparations incomplete, the provisions inside the castle won't last long. So, our choices are... an honorable defeat, or our unconditional surrender. Hang on a second, everyone. After fighting desperately, we finally made it back to the castle. Even so, there's nothing but despair awaiting us. What's happening here? Is Father really planning on using Mashuri as a hostage to bargain with Horn? Hmm. It's not totally unbelievable. I cannot let that happen! I refuse to. But there doesn't seem to be any other way. <gasps> More soldiers from Thennis! I see. So, if I want to get back to King Rob, I'll have to hack through them first. Hmm. There's no other choice. <laughs> Welcome to hell! Prepare... yourselves! This bloodlust... Show yourselves! Perfect. I'll make you pay for destroying my village right here and now. <laughs> A remnant of Saiga, just as I thought. Thought I'd get the chance to meet you if I hung around with Finnis. Ryu! Unforgivable. For what you've done, I'll show no mercy! I know it was you. You're the lowlife who killed Lady Naya! Hmm. What of it? You're next. Then it's Masheri's turn. How daring of you to share such plans. <laughs> Not at all. Because this is the end of the line for you. No. I cannot die here. No matter what happens. Too bad. This is where you shrivel up and die in your regrets. Daybreak. Perhaps we should consider not walking through those gates as an option. What are you saying? You do not plan on returning to the castle? <sighs> Lilith. What do you mean? Please explain. I think... King Elda may not have a plan this time. But... You're right. I suspected the same thing. Uh, hold on a second here. If we're not going back to the castle, what exactly is our plan? We could always run. You're honestly suggesting... That we just abandon the castle? Whether we take refuge inside the castle or not, the onus will fall sooner or later. <sighs> but if Lord Mont survives, then the Leonis bloodline can live on. Our time is running out. The decision is yours, Lord Mont. As is my sword. <laughs> my prince, make a choice. More enemies!
cannot delay any longer, father. Allow me to fight. I will not. Why? If I do not fight, Mont will... Must I repeat myself? <sighs> Stop, Stern! Do you intend to stand idly by and let my brother die? That depends on Mont. Must you be so merciless to those who do not share your ideals? Do not misunderstand me. My wish is for the Leonis bloodline to survive. I would gladly lay down my own life for that cause. Even so, I do not intend to show mercy to those who do not understand the worth of their blood. Are you... are you saying that you want Brother to abandon the castle and flee? Is that... Mont? Fool. So he has chosen to return. Gates left wide open. No reinforcements being marched out. I wonder what King Elda intends with all this. Maybe he's really eager for Lord Mont to go inside. But Lord Mont is... If you want to run, then run. I will not hold your decisions against you. Wait, are you telling us to flee? It is your best option. I cannot think of any other way. Hmm. Then allow me to do as I please. Allow me the same courtesy. <laughs> I am sorry. Thanks for everything. If only you had been placed under Stern's command instead, none of this would have happened. What is it? Why are you still here? <sighs> I wish you wouldn't underestimate us like that. <sighs> We're Kalen, Lord Mont's sword and shield, are we not? We will be by your side no matter where the road may take us. Let's show them what it means to be the pride of Leonis. I too serve only Lord Mott. All of you? No need to get emotional now. We've got soldiers to deal with. That flag! It's the flag of Horn's main force, Solidus! Mont! Huh. <laughs> that all you got? I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. Was expecting to have a bit more fun with you. Such a pity. King Rob... must... hurry. Still got some life in you, huh? Not yet ready to die. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Plead for your life. Huh. How boring. Already at your dying breaths. Let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> what? What's so funny? There's no one easier to defeat than a cocky little lowlife. But why you? What the? She went and jumped off the damn cliff. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. Cling to life, if that's how it is. Next time we meet, I'm going to make you beg for death. What?
Lord Mont, what's wrong? I heard Ma Cherie's voice. If so, then you must respond. What? It doesn't look like Lady Ma Cherie is anywhere to be found. And yet, you heard her voice all the same. A revelation from the gods, perhaps. Impossible. Lord Mont, the wave of enemy forces has stopped. Seems we've earned a brief respite, eh? My prince, it's time to make a choice. Yes, we'll enter the castle and discover Father's true intent. As ordered, the castle gates remain open. That will do. Forgive me, your majesty, but will that not allow the enemy to breach the castle? Do you not understand? With our gates closed, the enemy will strike at full force. However, open gates give off the scent of a trap, causing them to doubt their next move. Understood, your majesty. Forgive my impudence. That said, this situation cannot be maintained forever. Helena and Stern shall remain in the castle. F Father! Mont and I shall leave. There will be no quarrel. What of Masherie? It'd be folly to take her with us. Mashari, this is where we must part. I leave Schitzelt in your care. He's in no state to return to Horn yet. I understand. He's in good hands. <laughs> I will return for you. You have my word. But can you keep your word? If you have faith in me. What? Your faith will make me stronger. Stronger than I've ever been. Then you shall have it. Become stronger than anyone else, Mont. Then come and claim me, before I forget you. Understood? Mother and I are to remain here while you escape. Is that the way of it, Father? Disappointed, I take it. Your ploy is to make hostages out of us. Make of it what you please. Why do you refuse to fight? And if we are to escape, then why not do so together as a family? Never forget. The Leonis line shall live on, even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. Father, I've but one request. I will gladly remain here, so I beg of you, Please take Mother with you! What would happen to her? And I... Helena stays. No matter what? Enough! I cannot abide this! This is no more than a sad excuse to save your own skin! Stern! If my life is to be forfeit, may my enemy be one or many. I'll slay them all. Stern. I'll stain the earth red with my own blood. You plan to die? Never has the thought of dying crossed my mind, but I forsake Leonis. That is all. Helena, protect the bloodline of Leonis at any cost. At any cost? That is my wish, yes. King Elda, requesting permission to depart for the front. Granted. My apologies, O. To have embroiled my honored guest in all of this. I'm afraid this comes with the territory of being a knight. 
lowly as I may be. But that's fate, isn't it? <laughs> Let us depart. Seize the proper opportunity to surrender. This bloodline is all, remember? I am well aware. Mother, I beg of you to yield as soon as you are able. Are you a half-wit? What time would an early surrender buy us? You put their lives in danger for the sake of our own. It's... It's for the sake of the Leonis bloodline. Mont. Stay safe. Safe as I can. It is time. Shitzelt, are you alright? Yes, my lord. King Elda and Lord Mont have escaped through the rear gates. Damn. Lord Stern, do not despair. <clears throat> Surely King Elda has a plan. Do not talk as if you know how I feel! Uh, forgive me, Master. I just... Don't forget, I was abandoned too, by my own father. I had not forgotten. Have you ever thought ill of your father? At first my heart was ruled by nothing but hatred. However, now, I think not of it at all. Why is that? Because I was taken in by you, Lord Stern. I met you because I was abandoned. I'd say I was pretty lucky, wouldn't you? Then please return to the castle. Don't waste the precious luck you found. <laughs> Shed your terror, my lord. I have no intention of throwing my life away. Huh? You came here in order to live. Of course. A master always wishes to put on a show for his apprentice. <laughs> Ready for a challenge? He who kills the most wins. I'm always game for some friendly competition. Beware. I will give it my all. Lady Ma Cherie. Queen Helena! No matter what befalls us, I wish for Stern to live. Please, I require your assistance. Queen Helena. No, Queen Mother. Please rest easy. My life is already indebted to your son, Mont, so I will return the favor. Wait! Stay your swords, we shall not fight. But Lord Stern, I can still fight. I will protect the Queen Mother. My apologies, but we shall not go further. I am not like Father. I'm not like that man. I would never abandon Mother. Never! What are you doing here? We're to take Helen on Stern. We think not. What did you say? Any grievances can be taken up with me personally. And just to let you know, I have a hard time settling grievances gently. These two are my guests.
treat them with our greatest hospitality. Is that clear? Yes, Your Highness. It shall be done. We have news, Your Majesty. We have custody of not only Lady Mashuri, but Queen Helena and Prince Stern as well. I see. So Mashari is unharmed. What do you wish to do with the Queen and Prince of Leonis, Your Majesty? I want them handed over to me. They're bitter enemies of Venice, the pair of them. I've always dreamed of ending the Leonis bloodline myself. Same goes for any that get in my way. I have word from Lady Mashari to welcome the Queen and Prince of Leonis with the greatest of hospitality, Your Majesty. Mm. Of course I never considered this a one-sided trade. I'll allow sweet Lady Mashari to return to Horn. Do we have a deal? You have left me no choice. Then if that is settled, I shall check on Mashari. Excuse me. Ryan, what happened? I dealt with a shinobi from Horn. Just what I'd expect of a master from Goga. That's why you're worth top coin. It seems that Shinobi was sent to Rob courtesy of Mashari. Then there's no way of Rob knowing what Mashari and Shitzelt have been through yet. That should be the case. What of Elda and his other princely runt? It seems they fled through the rear gate of the castle with Kalem leaving behind their beloved to scurry off into the night. A brigade has already been dispatched in pursuit. Just what I wanted to hear. I'll join them after. Understood. What's wrong? I just got the strangest feeling that you were being watched. It might be Moraga. Right. We should hurry. There's no time to waste. Schutzelt, can I ask you something? What is it? Why did Horn join swords with Fennis? Fine question. I too would like to hear your answer. Fennis's military might is indeed impressive, but an alliance with a country like that will lead to naught but problems. It was because of Rundal, which lies to the west. Rundal? The so-called dragon-eating stag? That house Rundal? Rundal's invasions to the east become a more menacing reality by the minute. Hence... I see. You sought desperate measures to curb Rundal's aggression. That is when Sadali stepped in to be the mediator. Sadali? Isn't he the founder of the Crystal Sanctum? So it was his scheme. Be that as it may, to agree to wed one's precious daughter to that savage of a man. We were told that Moraga was not but a barbarian with a lust for battle. Alas, that was before we met. The Moraga I saw was fluent in our tongue. So much so that he seemed a different person entirely. I know what you mean. I felt the same way. Not to mention, his skills have improved remarkably since we last crossed swords. Though it pains me to admit it, even with Shitzelt by my side, we couldn't put an end to him. Perhaps that feckless swine has used some means to gain more power. To gain more power? 
It couldn't be. An ancient relic? Machari. Father! You are safe. I can rest assured at last. King Elda treated me as an honored guest. More importantly, I ask that you protect Queen Helena and Prince Stern. Hmm. Father? They are to be delivered to Fenice. A deal was struck with King Moraga not long ago. W why would you do that? Why would you strike such a deal? Oh no. You never heard from Lynx? From Lynx? No, she has been missing for quite some time. <gasps> what am I missing here? Actually... Moraga has been pulling the strings all along. Alas, is there no proof of this conspiracy? Proof is hard to come by. Moraga doesn't strike me as capable of such devious plots. It is possible that Sodaly gave him the idea. Are there no means with which to reclaim Queen Helena and Lord Stern? Perhaps if you were to take their place in Fenice, an agreement could be reached. Then that is what I shall do. No, I'll never submit to those terms. Father! But I'll persuade Moraga not to do them any harm. It would not be wise for him to refuse my terms. We still have his daughter. Father, about Moraga's daughter. According to King Elda, he doesn't have one. What? That fiend! What on earth are you planning? Mont. Lord Mont, please accept my sincerest apologies for my many instances of discourtesy to date. I can't let you go. Pardon? You wish to part ways with us and go it alone, don't you? But if we are to keep our current course east, we'll enter Wazette territory. Worry not. Leonis and Wazette are bound by an alliance. Alas, I am not... Of Horn any longer? Is that not so? Uh. <laughs> uh. I don't understand why you all treat me so. And not just you, Lord Mont, but even Lilith. Have you heard that Lilith lost Volca, her brother? Yes, Lord Mont. Upon his death, Lilith fell into despair and vanished. To this day, she refuses to speak at length of what happened during the two years she went missing. But one day, she came back. Yes. She told me of how the people she met while wandering the lands helped her realize what she needs to do. She must have had good encounters. Because of that, Lilith must wonder if she has what it takes to carry out that duty herself. <sighs> that memory inspired me to take you with me now. So, I understand. It's none of my concern. But, I could not leave you in that state. I am truly thankful. Shitzelt. To think that someone finds even my broken self to have purpose. I must take solace in knowing that. Lend me your strength, and together we'll defeat Moraga. He's powerful. Our lives may be forfeit in another confrontation. I am ready. Have no doubt. I understand. So this is where you have been.
You are sought by King Elda. Father needs me? It seems we are under attack. What? Shouldn't you have said that sooner? Shitzot! I'm with you. This castle has fallen. That is not all. The Queen, Helena, and the younger Prince Stir are both in hand. The real message here is that Elda and Mont have slipped out of our net, is it not? Yes, Your Holiness. <laughs> no matter. Then perhaps I, too, should greet Leona's castle with my presence. You would go in person, Your Holiness? Little birds have been telling rumors of Stern for quite some time now. I have long desired to have him under my control by any means necessary. And lo, to realize that dream at so soon a juncture. Against the combined forces of Horn and Fenis, Leonis was forced to call a retreat. Declaring that he will not prepare for a siege, King Elda instead decided to abandon the castle and flee with Mont. He intends to seek aid from the allied kingdom of Wazette to the north. Meanwhile, the younger prince, Stern, and his mother, Queen Helena, chose to become hostages of Fenis. The Leonis line shall live on, even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. Thus, the Leonis bloodline was cut in two. A smug grin adorns the face of Lord Sodaly, the founder of the Church of the Crystal. For he orchestrated the alliance between Horn and Fenis. I'm sorry. I'm ashamed to have made promises I couldn't keep. But there is no need to fret. I guarantee your safety. From what I have heard, you have done Masheri a great service. Horn is indebted to... Horn has allied with our bitter enemy, Fenis. Our safety can never be guaranteed as long as that alliance with Fenis stands. Hmm. Please, don't misunderstand. I'm not condemning you. The only thing I want is for you to save my mother. Stern, I... I'll do as much as I can. I can promise that, at least. So... I'd say it's about time you wrapped up this little conversation. You are the shinobi in Fenice's employ. I've heard tell of you. You're Ryu, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta take these two. No hard feelings, right? Let me ask you one thing. Have you seen Shadow Links? Shadow Links? Are the people of Goga not sworn enemies of the Shinobi of Saiga? Hmm. Ryu, these people are Horn's honored guests. If there is any. Who the hell do you think you are? What? Why should I take orders from the likes of you? 
You want something from me, it's going to cost you. So pay up. I hate people like you, always trying to order me around without paying a single gill. Why you? You should be careful how you speak to me. Unless you want to end up like... Like Lynx, you mean? <laughs> Who's to say? What is the matter? I still fear for Mother and Stern. I wonder how they're doing now. You lackwit. Father, are you not worried? You worry for others at a time like this? But we will soon enter Wazette territory. Once we do, the pursuing Fennis forces will surely give up chase. That would be favorable. But alas. Are you saying that Fennis intends to invade Wazette? With Horn joined in alliance, it is not implausible. <sighs> there is much ground we must yet cover before reaching Wazette Castle to the north. That much is apparent from the lack of Wazette's guards in this area. If our pursuers were to catch us before reaching the castle, it would be our demise. Yes, Father. I've heard that Sodaly brought together Horn and Fennis as allies. That's correct. He used the threat of Rondal to the west to compel King Rob's decision. This Sodaly... He must have a great deal of influence to sway the King of Horn. Sir Schitzelt, what is the truth of the matter? We have no connections with Lord Sadaly. He is the founder of the Church of the Crystal. Near the northwest border of Horn stands his cathedral, the capital of the congregation. I've heard of the Church of the Crystal, but what exactly do they do? Could it be they're actually gathering crystals? That they are. Seriously? Crystals are the source of various powers. It is said that they're collecting them for the benefit of the people, but... That's just a front, right? A front? Then what is the true purpose? They plan to use them for war. Or so I've heard. There must be a sense of impending crisis. The Great Kingdom of Rundal strongly opposes Sodaly. It seems that King Jaden of Rundal is eager to expand his territory to the east. He coerced Horn and Fennes into an alliance to protect both himself and the Church. Indeed. I see no other reasoning. Then let us continue northward. The longer we stall, the closer Fennes comes to nipping at our tails. Hmm. What's the matter? Do your wounds still hurt? No, it's not that. It would be best if I didn't go to Wazette. There's no cause for concern. But surely they would suspect me for a spy of Horn. It would cause naught but problems for Leonis. Fear not. I do not lose face over such trivial matters. <sighs> On the contrary, they might seek to make a vassal out of you. Me? Under the command of King Kuri of Wizet? It could happen. The King of Wizet hasn't been blessed with a leader of note for generations. No doubt, the very thought of attaining the first sword of Solidus would have the man licking his chops. I find that hard to... It's a fair comment. He may even want you to inherit the throne of Wizette someday. Me? The King of Wizette? Uh, forgive me. You've only recently lost your betrothed.
Wait a moment. The Prince of Wisette. There isn't one. Precisely speaking, he was assassinated. <sighs> it seems a dispute over succession to the throne broke out with the birth of a concubine's child. That was almost 20 years ago. Then, that means the successor to King Kuri. Oh, there is one. Her name is Glacella. Another valiant lady. Well, not that I'm in such a position to say so. I had thought to wed one of my sons to Glacella. Lord Mont? Is that true? N no. Father is just saying that. <laughs> it seems only Lady Masheri will do. Even so, I see no ill in sitting stern upon the throne of Wazette. In other words, the alliance between Wazette and Leonis is bound by... That's right. It's a matter of heirs. But that's not all there is to it. I have absolutely no intention of being a vassal of Wazette. That said, I will gladly offer my assistance if it brings us closer to defeating Muraga. Hmm. Well then, let us make haste. It's a village! I wonder if there's any food. Is that all you think about? Bilo, I hate to tell you this, but we're not stopping by. Huh? We're not? We must reach Wazette Castle as soon as possible. Besides, those villagers will get pulled into our war should our pursuers catch up to us. Right as always, my lord. Kiton, what news? The pursuing forces from Venice are drawing near. No way! They have already caught up to us? Damn barbarians. Their legs are as strong as beasts. Father, let us make haste. At this rate. Let us go. We shall stop by the village. Huh? We can't do that. If we do that, the village will... I have spoken with the village chief. He says to stay as long as we please. I see. Then let us depart. Please, wait! If we are not staying, then why did we come to the village? Did you not hear me? We are leaving the village. What is King Elda thinking? The enemy must know we've entered the village. If that's the case, they're likely planning an attack on the village. You can't mean King Elda intends to buy us some time by sacrificing these people? I cannot allow it! Such a heartless... I know. I understand how you feel, but... You cannot defy your father. So, I shall go in your stead. That's madness! I am well aware, but if my life can save several others... Lord Mont, can't you try to persuade King Elda somehow? <laughs> I'll... I'll go. But No, you can't! Shitzelt has opened my eyes to the truth. You know, the people of this village saved my life once. It happened when I visited Wazette as an envoy. My men and I fled to this village one night as we were pursued by a pack of murderous bandits. If they hadn't helped us, I wouldn't be here right now. That's why. I will go by your side. No. Shitzelt, your wounds are not yet healed. This little scratch? That's no scratch. You're staying right here. 
I'll go in your place. You have my thanks, Lilith. Then let's go, before King Elda finds us. What are you doing? Where are Mont and Lilith? They left the village to attack the pursuing Fennis troops. Damn those half-wits! If it isn't the younger Prince Stern and Queen Helena, I vow to exterminate every last one of that putrid Leonis bloodline. I'll start by soaking the soil of Leonis with the blood of you two. Just like that? I don't claim to know or really care what you're up to. But the King of Horn ordered me not to mess with these two, right? Does Horn frighten you? Quite the opposite. You intend to eventually bear your fangs at Horn too, don't you? <laughs> we'll see, won't we? It's a shame that you can't afford to betray Horn, then, isn't it? Oh, and why would that be? You've left us armed, completely underestimating us. So, what do you plan on doing? Wiping your blood from my blade! Will you now? It seems you missed the reason why I left you armed. That way, if you start a rebellion, we'll have no choice but to shut it down with our military force. Ha ha ha. I don't care what you are planning. Master! <laughs> this has gotten quite interesting! For them to arms! Well, isn't this a surprise? I thought he was all talk. I see. Now I understand why Elda was holding this one back. Killing him would be such a waste. Begging for your life already? Don't hide behind your soldiers! Come out and fight! Once I've failed you, I must head for Wazette. Already missing your old man. In a manner of speaking, I'll never forgive him for what he's done. What was that? Poor Cub was abandoned by his daddy, wasn't he? <laughs> so that's how it is. There's nowhere left to run! Run? Don't make me laugh. From this moment forward, Leonis is mine! Lord Stern, Araga is rather skilled. I know. If I should fall, take care of Mother. Wait one moment. Lord Sodaly. Did he say Sodaly? That's the founder of the Church of the Crystal. Allow me to settle this conflict. But... What's this, Moraga? Do you intend to disobey me? Life should not be wasted. Am I understood? I have no idea what the founder of the Church of the Crystal could be plotting, but... It's clear that you were the one who arranged the alliance between Horn and Fennis. That's why... I'll start by killing you first! 
brainless slug. Do you think you can match the likes of him? You never know until you cross blades! Oh, this is gonna be fun! Have at it then! I'm looking forward to seeing just what this Sodaly is capable of. Watch your mouth, Ryu! Don't say I didn't warn you. Master. <laughs> Quite strong, this one! Yes, and yet... True. Beheading the enemy leader here would certainly turn the tables in our favor. A fight I can stake my life on. It's certainly been a while. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you into this, Master. No apologies needed. I should be thanking you for bringing a little excitement back into my life. These people are not to be harmed. Understand? Are you mocking us? Most excellent. The rumors were not untrue. If anything, they did not do you justice. <laughs> I've barely broken a sweat. Suddenly, you're next! What the... What is it? What's happened? What? Elder sprung a surprise attack? The first pursuit force got sidetracked in a battle? Who are you talking to? It takes getting used to. I was surprised the first time as well. He's got some sort of device for speaking with those who are far away. Good for giving orders and such. Another ancient relic. If he can give commands to those out of earshot... I think we just discovered the secret to Moraga's power. Elder. That rat. Ambushing us when I thought he was resting in the village. That sounds like brothers. Mon's tactics, all right. What are you saying? That even with such a powerful relic in your possession, you weren't skilled enough to wipe out Leonis. <sighs> if I'd been in command, Elda's reign would be over. You would take King Elda's life? Is he not your own father? That callous man is no father of mine! Not only did he abandon me, but he abandoned his own wife, my mother, to save his own damn neck! My sword is yours, Moraga. I will prove more useful than that washed-up shinobi Ryu ever could! Who the hell do you think you are? You think I'd fall for that, do you? You believe that I would betray you. I'm afraid it is I who bears full responsibility for this situation. I simply propose an alliance between Horn and Finnis so as to resist Rundal to the west. Alas, where have I erred? By what manner of fate did it come to this? Allow me to step in, and perhaps I can effect some sort of reconciliation between you and your father. Reconciliation? There will be none of that. Besides, you're not to blame. Whether or not war was on the horizon, it would have come to this eventually. However, I am still to blame for your future being stolen from you. Is there nothing I can do to make amends, to put my mind at ease? If peace of mind is what you want, then allow me to strike down my father. Do what you will with me in the aftermath, but you must give me your word that my mother will be safe. Hmm. So it must be then. Moraga. You will do all within your power to assist Stern 
in defeating Elder. Uh, but... Your... Your Holiness... It's not a request, I'm afraid. Do you understand? Yes. But Fordham isn't coming with us. They're staying right here. Stern and Stern alone joins us in the pursuit. Those are my terms. I see no problem with this. Oh, and Stern, I have a gift to give you later on. A gift? Yes. One that, I believe, will be well suited to your tastes. What are you? May the light of the crystals guide you. Your plan worked without a hitch, Lord Mont. I never would have thought that we'd be the ones to lay an ambush. Neither would I. Fools! The both of you! Father... Engaging an enemy without first assessing the threat? You know better than that! Forgive me. However... There was no other way to keep the villagers out of harm's way. Please forgive his kindness, King Elda. Kindness, is it? That kindness will lead only to an early grave. Maybe it will. But this is the path I have chosen. I'll gladly give my life for the needs of the many. That is the path you have chosen, and who am I to object? Father... But take heed, for you must never stray from it. You must always remain true to your conviction, no matter what. Show your enemies no mercy, even should they plead for their lives. One enemy shown mercy could bring Hellfire down upon this village. Understood? Yes, Father. Most of our foes have been taken care of. Now, let's finally depart this village. Hmm? A young maiden? You needn't worry, miss. Your village is safe now. We'll be out of your hair in no time. Actually, I wondered... Might I... join you? Join us? Sorry, but I think you'd be safer with other people. We've got Fennis hot on our trails right now. I will not be a burden, I swear it. You may call me mean Wu. Hmm? Father, no. We mustn't drag any more innocent villagers into our war. You are headed for Rosette, are you not? We are. I could be your guide. I am well versed in the lay of this land. Why would you go to such lengths to help us? We almost threw your entire village to the wolves. I was moved by the way you have chosen to live your life, Lord Mont. That is why. Who, me? <laughs> then join him on his chosen path. Lead the way. Yes, your majesty. Please, do follow me. Father? Another report from your allies? You mean to tell me now that we lost the entire pursuit force? Your soldiers prove more useless by the hour. Elder's still making his way north, isn't he? Then stay put until I arrive. Do you understand me? <laughs> A lukewarm strategy as always. What's that? 
You're too slow to act. Are you trying to ensure that Elda and Rosette join forces before we arrive? I didn't ask for your opinion, slug. Sodaly gave you an order. You are to do all in your power to help me bring down Elda. Surely even you have not forgotten that already. Tell your men not to halt their pursuit. <sighs> Heed my orders. Don't halt the pursuit. Good. Let's move. <laughs> to think I'd see the day the mighty Moraga loses face to a mere boy. Shut your mouth, Ryu. Settle this business with Elda, and I'll take care of your little stern problem for you. How about that? And you can keep your coin. It's on me. What's this box? A gift from Lord Sodomy. Well, would you look at that? He wasn't just blowing smoke. It's huge, too. What on earth did he put in here? Golden armor. What rubbish. Does he expect me to kill Elda dressed like a gaudy prince? Do you really harbor such hatred for Elda? Lord Stern. Harbor it. It flows freely through me. I'll see him dead. There is no hint of falsehood in your words. Do not insult me. Very well. This armor is imbued with magic that amplifies the wearer's hatred, turning it into power. If your hatred is true, then I expect you will become quite powerful, Lord Stern. You're saying that I must wear this armor to fight Elda? Lord Sodaly has prepared this armor for that very purpose. <laughs> what the? Unlimited power! So another ancient relic comes out to play. This way, please, and swiftly. Lord Mont? Is there something amiss? I don't know. A sudden chill just came over me. You're not losing your nerve, are you? I would be glad if it were just nerves. Ramada, would you read the stars for me? The moon and stars are divided by malicious intent. One that will call forth the radiance of destruction upon these lands. What is that supposed to mean? I cannot say for certain, my lord. I merely relay what the stars whisper to me. Stern. Mother. I hope you're safe, wherever you are. Ketone, are you there? Here, your highness. What of the pursuit? The battalion that was in pursuit has but a handful of soldiers remaining. I was under the impression they were going to wait for reinforcements, but... Are you saying they haven't given up on the pursuit? It seems not, Your Highness. To continue the pursuit in that condition, they must think us weak. We cannot let down our guard. I haven't the slightest intention of doing so. That said, 
we will soon have crossed the mountains, putting us closer to the kingdom's settlements and thus with Zet's influence. They must intend to end us before then. We cannot allow that. Take heart, Mont. Soon you will be with your dear Glacella. Lord Mont, is this Glacella perhaps... Uh, certainly not. Surely she has already forgotten all about me. Hmm. More importantly... What has you so worried this time, Lord Mont? I'm just not sure. Do you truly think Lizette will answer our call for aid? Of course they will. They're our allies after all. I can only hope so. Your Highness, foreign intruders have been spotted at the border. Actually, it appears to be King Elda of Leonis, with Prince Mont and his company. It seems Horn and Fenis have formed an alliance and invaded their kingdom. So they have come to request our assistance, have they? Without so much as paying me the courtesy of sending a messenger in advance. Orders, Your Highness. King Kuri, if I may. Assisting King Elder now would make him indebted to us. And if a war with Horn looms over the horizon, we must begin preparations. I am of the same mind, Your Highness. Hmm. Your Highness, I have one more item to report. What is it? There appears to be a Knight of Horn in King Elder's company. He is consorting with a Knight of Horn? Yes, Your Highness. It is believed to be Shitzelt, First Sword of Solidus. Hmm. Sergius, take your men and move out. As you wish. What? Muraga is leading his army Ruina in pursuit of Elda? Yes, Your Highness. From their actions, it's safe to assume that Leonis has gone to seek Lizette's support. Father, aren't things moving a little too fast? Hmm. Diving into war is exactly what Sadali and Moraga want. Yet, it also presents the perfect opportunity to strike down our sworn enemy, Lizette. What I cannot fathom is Moraga's intent. Why hasn't he informed us of his actions? Perhaps it serves him better for us not to be there. Or maybe... Yes? Father, forgive me. The ancient necklace you gave me for my wedding. Mont still has it. Is Moraga aware of this? He's surprisingly quick-witted. I wouldn't put it past him. To make matters worse, Mont also has an ancient relic from Leonis. So if Muraga were to crush Elda's army... He would then become the proud owner of two more ancient relics. That would be unfortunate. We must prevent that from happening. Leave it to me, your highness. My lady. Ah, Adelard and Salir. Hmm. Perhaps the second division, Nitor, could prove valuable in this effort. Very well. Set out immediately. Yes, Your Highness. You can count on us. Thanks for the send-off. This is as far as you go. What are you talking about? I'm coming with you, of course. Not happening. You say that, but it's not like you can stop me. Besides, I'm not going to be separated from my big brother. Salir, this is a mission, not a game. That's why I'm going too. You know how talented I am, don't you, brother? Well, yes, I'll admit that, but... Then, 
It's decided. <sighs> so, are you going to do it? Do it? Do what? Save Mont, of course. What else would I mean? Are you suggesting that we side with Leonis? Well, Lady Mashri is in love with Mont, right? It was written all over her face. Yeah, she does seem smitten. But alas, we are Horn, and so we are a lie to Fennis. Huh? So we're going to fight Leonis? Not necessarily. Our mission is to retrieve the ancient relic. But if anyone gets in my way, then I'll just have to take them out. So, if that someone who gets in your way just happens to be Moraga... You really, really don't like Moraga, do you? Nor do you. Right, brother? Unfortunately, I don't think King Rob would approve. Perhaps I will sabotage the pursuit, deal him a serious wound or two. But... but would that really be enough? There will come a time for us to settle our grievances with Moraga once and for all. That day is not today. Got that? You can only come if you promise you won't go on a rampage. Ugh, fine. Whatever you say. <laughs> Minwu, a moment? Yes, my lord. How may I help you? Are you sure we are on the right path? Mont, you have no need to worry. And do not question the guidance of one who is familiar with this land. Yes, father. We must reach the other side of the mountains before our pursuers catch up with us. That is all you need concern yourself with right now. You don't look convinced, Lord Mont. Why is that? <laughs> I've been to Wazet Castle before. Yes, as I recall it was three years ago now. Yet I am certain that I never took this road. Neither on the way there nor upon my return. What? You think that village girl is leading us down a false path? I know I should give her the benefit of the doubt. But... I can't bring myself to trust her. Could it be you're overthinking things? That's not all. When I visited the village, she wasn't there. Give the word and I'll make her talk, Lord Mont. Uh, no. Let's observe the situation a little longer, shall we? Are you sure? We should act before it's too late. Please, just trust me on this. Yes, Lord Mont. Horn's army is on its way. Yes, sir. It seems that the second division Nitor has been dispatched. What could that slug Rob be up to? You're allied with Horn, aren't you? It seems natural that they'd send reinforcements. <laughs> What's the problem? Even if Wazette tries to raise an army, with Horn's forces there, they'll be pushed right back into the ground. Know your place. This has nothing to do with you. I get it. Oh? Clearly, obtaining the ancient relic is the real goal. Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. Mm. My, my. How shrewd. If so, I dare say the horned scum are about to get in our way. The second division Nitor, huh? Are they strong? That's a stupid question. Nitor is led by a red mage of the name Adelard. I've heard rumor he's exceptionally strong. Sounds like fun. 
Let me be the one to kill him. You can't be serious. You've got no problem with that, right? What you do with Horn does not concern me. However... Lay a hand on Elda, and I'll kill you as well. <laughs> well, well, what a merry lot you all are. Who the hell are you? They are Durando and Gargus, loyal subjects of Lord Sadali. Is that so? Our words are Lord Sadali's orders. And don't you forget it, huh? Hmm. You got a problem with that boy? Caught Lord Sadali's eye and now he thinks he's better than us, huh? I couldn't care less who either of you are. What was that? But hear this. Don't lay a hand on Elda. Understood? And what if we refuse, huh? What'll you do then? I'll send you to your graves. Huh. Seems like you don't quite know your place yet, boy. Maybe we ought to teach you a lesson, huh? Fine by me. Have at me. I hear you've gutted plenty of monsters in your career. But humans, that's a different story entirely, huh? Everyone goes on and on about how great you're supposed to be. About time they saw you for what you really are, huh? Why, you little... Who do you think you are? You don't want us to get serious. That's enough. You don't want to know what happens if you wound the little rat. Of course. We know that. But tell me, how does that make you feel? He's from Leonis, huh? Aren't you meant to be bitter enemies? That's exactly the reason why I let him come. Elda is going to die at the hands of his own son. Just imagining it gets my blood going. Really now? Well then. After he's taking care of Elda, we can have our way with him, huh? Do whatever you want. Hear that, boy? That's how it is. Get rid of Elda for us nice and quick. We'll save our fun for after that, huh? <sighs> Does something concern you about that necklace? I almost forgot I still have it. I regret not giving it back. You do? Why is that? I can't help but worry that if anything were to happen to Mashari... Hmm... Then maybe this necklace would protect her. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Lady Mashari entrusted it to you out of concern for your welfare. My welfare? She is terribly concerned for you, Lord Mont. Your kind heart. Father said something similar. First Minwu, who joined our company, and then Glacella of Wazette. It seems that you have a way with the ladies, Lord Mont. That's not true at all. I want you to remember me whenever you look upon this necklace. I dare say that's what Lady Mashari was also thinking. <sighs> Even without the necklace, I could never forget her. Ever. Hmm. <sighs>
What's the matter? Something just occurred to me about that villager, Minwu. I get the uncanny feeling that we have met somewhere before. Where, though? You're underestimating Leonis. <laughs> Do you really think that you can claim Leonis simply by taking Lord Stern hostage? Still your tongue and walk. And if I refuse? Then I'll make you regret it. What would you have me do, Queen Helena? Perhaps it would be best to demonstrate the pride of Leonis. I wholeheartedly agree. What the... Are you serious? Serious? Ha! <laughs> this is exactly what your leaders were hoping for. What other reason would they still allow us to keep our weapons? I'm sure this was their plan to end us once and for all. If you know that much, then let's just get this over with. Draw your sword. Show me what you've got! You've made me an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> Seems they were all talk. What would you have us do now, Queen Helena? We should make haste for Anvil Castle. Anvil Castle, your highness? You don't wish to follow King Elda? That's correct. Hmm. Anvil Castle. That was the main residence of the previous king, as I recall. Yes. It is also close to the border of Fennis. That castle is abandoned. I fear it will be little more than a ruin. We never abandoned that castle. There are still several relics hidden beneath it. Hidden relics? If we possessed more ancient relics, might we be able to turn the tide of this war? As I said, let us make haste for Anvil Castle. I must inform King Rob. Sorry, I can't let you do that. Uh. You're... Looks like Ryu was right after all. He said you'd turn up if we waited here long enough. You're not getting away this time. Prepare yourself. Despite Mushery's best efforts, Prince Stern and Queen Helena have fallen into Moraga's clutches. Not only that, but Sadali has schemes afoot. He has cleverly made use of Stern's hatred, with the intent of him killing his own father, King Elda. Having been separated from Stern, Queen Helena and the First Division, Fordham, make for the abandoned Anvil Castle. In order to obtain the ancient relics buried beneath the time-worn fortress. Meanwhile, Mont and party follow the villager Minwu and head toward the frigid kingdom of Wazet with the belief that if their kingdoms unite, they may yet reclaim the mighty Leonis of yesterday. However, Ramada hears ominous whispers from the stars above. It seems that the moon and stars are divided by a malicious intent. 
One that will awaken a radiance of destruction from the bowels of the earth. This village. Do what you will with it. What is that supposed to mean? These villagers are devoted to that filthy Elder, aren't they? Are you saying you'd pardon such treacherous scum? That worked better than I expected. Enjoying it? Enjoying what? Don't act like you can't hear it. The shrieks and cries of the villagers. There's gonna be no coming back from this for that Leonis whelp. <laughs> That's the plan. There should be a cave just ahead. A cave? Perhaps we should rest there for a while. Does a river flow nearby, Meanwell? We really should draw some fresh water. There is a place to draw water down that way, my lord. Then I will go fetch some. Father, please go ahead to the cave. Right. But don't take too long. Wolf. I see them. Fennish soldiers. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. Yeah, keep looking for the cave. I'll be holed up in there. Did he say the cave? Seems they're aware of it. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should make our way back to Father at once. What happened? We've spied soldiers from Fennis. That can't be. I wish it weren't. They've already drawn near. It would appear we cannot afford to rest here. We must leave this place at once. Our hands are bound. Let us keep moving. <sighs> Lord Mont, why didn't you tell your father that the soldiers knew about the cave? Because Minu was there. You find her suspicious as well, Lord Mont. It's just something Shitsa had said. He said that they had crossed paths once before. It's natural for people to cross paths during their travels, though, isn't it? That's true, but... I still can't shake this feeling in my gut. Mm. I understand. I'll keep an eye on her. Queen Helena. Why would there be ancient relics hidden within Anvil Castle? It lies within a stone's throw of the border with Venice. Might a better place not be found further from hostile eyes? The decision was not ours. I am told that was an edict from the gods themselves. The gods? I'd heard that the relics were bequeathed to the world by the gods, but... It is true. To think that they were given to us by those who reign supreme over all kings and their kingdoms. However, we were permitted to use only one, the ring. All relics besides the ring were ordered to be sealed away 
until the time came to use them. And you believe now is that time? Perhaps. That said, I fear that acquiring the relics will be no simple task. Why is that? It appears that the king before last released countless monsters as he abandoned the castle. And those of the most fearsome and violent ilk at that. So as to ensure that the relics were not acquired by Fenis, no? This sounds like it's going to be quite enjoyable, your highness. Whether Lord Stern is with us or not, we are still the pride of Leonis. We are still Fordham. So, shall we slay some monsters and get our hands on some relics? Please, Lord Mont, do not proceed in that direction. Why not? Is this not the shorter route to Wazette? Be, be there as it may. What is it, Meanwhile? Mm. Answer him. It may be the quicker path, but it has become infested with fierce monsters of late. As we are being pursued, I presumed the road with fewer obstacles would be best. A wise assumption. We shall continue to follow Minwo. Do you object, Mont? No, father. Those of you that value your lives may take your leave here. Know that there is no shame in doing so. None within Fordham would turn tail before any enemy, my queen. Perhaps you are wondering why I ask such a thing. Look upon the gate, and consider its appearance. The gate? See, it bears the signs of countless would-be intruders. From Fenis, I assume? I fear that may be true. It could be they instinctually sense that something of value lies within. And so they attempted to enter Anvil Castle. Alas, they had to abandon their wishful plundering. The reason being... No doubt they were driven away by whatever terrible creatures lurk within. Now you understand that those creatures are not to be taken lightly. I shall bear that in mind, Your Highness. Good. Let us proceed. We shall break down the castle gates and head straight into the castle. For Leonis! Orleonis! <gasps> it's just as the legends say. Then the ancient relics reside here. Under the castle? Yes. Does something trouble you, your highness? Do you not feel it? The presence of something unnatural. Yes, I feel it. And strongly, your highness. Whatever awaits us below, it is surely more terrible than any monster we have faced before. Huh. But fear not, Queen Helena. You have my word that no monster will keep us from those ancient relics. We 
we finally found them! Queen Helena, these ancient relics will ensure our victory in the battles to come! Something continues to trouble you, Your Highness. What has you so concerned? I suppose I'm having second thoughts. Is it truly acceptable for us to remove these relics from here? Why wouldn't it be, Your Highness? The gods themselves bequeathed us these gifts for when the time was right. That's true. These relics will lead us to glory. We must have faith in that. Who knows what kind of relics might be in here? Do not touch it! We do not know what unimaginable relics lie within. There's no telling what might happen were you to handle them carelessly. Forgive me, Your Highness. Carry out the stone chests. Yes, sir. You heard Her Majesty. Make sure you handle them with care. So that's his long distance listening to this. What is it now? Hmm. <laughs> they went to Anvil Castle, did they? Whispering with your friends again. What'd they want from you this time, huh? They say. The captured Leona's soldiers rebelled against the guards. Oh? They still had some fight in them, did they? And? What happened then, huh? Word is, they went to Anvil Castle. Huh! So your soldiers were all defeated? What a sorry lot. Within expectations. No need to act all tough. Who's acting? I wanted him to go to Anvil Castle. The two of you should head that way too. Us? Why should we go to the trouble? Yeah, what he said, huh? Helena is going to be the key here. You can't go hurting her, but... As for the rest of them... Do whatever you like. Wasn't Sir O one of the captured Leonis soldiers? Did you say O? You're saying we can do whatever we want to Sir O. You heard me. There's just one more condition. If either of you find something, anything, report back to me. Got that? Now get a move on. Looks like Ryu was right after all. He said you'd turn up if we waited here long enough. You're not getting away this time. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Are you laughing? Have you gone mad? I can't help but laugh. It'd be one thing to face the assassins of Goga. But you... What a force. You appear to be under the impression only we three are here. There are many more of us. I have only to give the signal, and you'll see just how many. I don't care how many of you there are. Show me what you can do. You come from neither Goga nor Saiga. Just Venice soldiers playing pretend shinobi. Silence! It would appear you still do not understand. I'll not be defeated by some sham shinobi, no matter how many of you there are. 
And what if we do defeat you? Then I will acknowledge Fenis as home to the third great shinobi village. We have your word then? Come and see. <laughs> What's wrong? You dare hesitate now? Then allow me the first strike. Queen Helena. Yes, I feel it as well. The presence of an untold number of monsters. It's as if they know we have the stone chests and intend to prevent us from taking them. Alas, we will not bend to their will. We shall break through with force if we must. Yes, Your Highness. Let us return to the castle gate as quickly as we can. Well fought, O. Oh. Now, to take these relics. I fear not, Your Highness. The true test of our skills begins now, it would appear. Oh. Looks like we got here just in time. I recognize you two. Durando and Gargus. Oh! Looks like we're famous. What an honor, huh? To be known by the great Sir O. How did you know to find us here? Seemed like a good day for fresh air is all. And fresh blood, huh? How about it? A little skirmish to celebrate this happy coincidence? Oh, who are these people? They serve sadly. And yet they lead Fenice's troops. So, they have come here at Moraga's behest, then. What are your soldiers carrying back there? Ah, that must be what Moraga wanted us to report back on, huh? I assume that retreat is not a choice at this juncture. Queen Helena, please step back. Allow me to handle these two. Gonna stand and fight? How gallant. What a day, huh? I never dreamed I would get to take O's head. Go ahead and take it. If you can. <gasps> Is that all you got? You hardly put up a fight at all. Are you lot really the best Leonis has to offer? You call yourselves Fordham, huh? Uh. Queen Helena! Do... do not... concern yourself... with me. What? This wound! You wretched curs! Oh, you must retreat. I, I cannot. Such would be unquestionably... It's an order. What's that? Not talking retreat already, are you? No way! The great Sir O would never run from a fight, huh? Now, let's get back to it. Yeah, the fun isn't over yet, huh? Still standing, huh? Just what I'd expect from the great Sir O. But we still have plenty of Fennis soldiers to throw at him, huh? Oh, you must leave me here and get to safety. I... I will not. What will come of continuing this fight any longer? How could I face Lord Stern were I to abandon your highness here? But to Stern, you are irreplaceable. 
were you to fall here, it would certainly crush his spirit. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Your Highness. If I died here, it would surely light a valiant fire in Lord Stern's heart. That... that's nonsense. Death does not scare me, so long as my own might prove useful. It is for that very reason that I serve. <laughs> Ye Your Highness! <laughs> Listen well, soldiers. You are to depart and make way for Wazette at once. But... what of you and Queen Helena? You all will prove invaluable in the battles to come. To die here would serve no purpose. But... Cast aside any regrets. Reconvene with King Elder and rally Fordham. And then... You must kill Maraga. But the ancient relics... We've no choice but to abandon them. You can't be serious. If you've no ears for orders, then I've no hope for your souls! I'll strike you down myself if you disobey me! Now go! And just what do you hope to achieve by fighting alone? I must apologize in advance. Apologize? For what? Never have I wielded my sword in hatred. Until now. This is the first time I've desired to hear the death cries of my enemies. <laughs> I admit that I am no longer in control of my emotions. Any pleas for mercy will fall on deaf ears. And for that, I apologize. Why, you? Now, let us begin this dance of blades and blood. That's the Soro I wanted to see! What a show! Not a single one of those soldiers stood a chance, huh? I guess that means it's our turn now. A fight with the Great Suro. What fun, huh? What? He died where he stood. Victory to Dorando and Gargas. Time to take O's head. Halt. Don't lay so much as a finger on O. You weaklings don't have that right, huh? You're planning to take all the credit. Credit? Look here. We may be some of the dirtiest scumbags around. But we still know to give respect where it's due, huh? We'll let O and Helena rest here in peace. Let them return to the Earth, huh? What make-believe innocence are you going on about? Your recklessness led to Helena's death. I must tell King Moraga of all that has happened here. Tell Moraga? Oh, we can't have that now. No. No, we can't, huh? You... you wouldn't! Oh, but we would. I hope you're ready, huh? You would betray King Moraga? Then I'll kill the both of you! You heard what the Leonis soldier said earlier, right? Oh, yeah. You bet I heard it. Every last word, huh? So, in here is... Hmm. 
Oh, <laughs> well, well, well. They really are ancient relics, huh? This should make up for the fact that we let Helena get killed. But wait, brother. These ancient relics would be wasted on Moraga. What are you thinking? The answer is obvious, huh? You're saying... We offer them to Lord Sadali. He might even consider us a bit more valuable if we do, huh? You two are out of your minds! The ancient relics will be handed over to King Muraga. Step away from the stone chest. Oh no, we aren't going anywhere. Sick already, are you? Sick of waiting to kill Elda, maybe. <laughs> Good to hear. Let's get moving then. That's that then. That was the Royal Guard? Moraga's army isn't much, huh? Nope. We're just too strong for the likes of them. <laughs> now, to present these big old stone chests to Lord Sadley. They sure look heavy, though, huh? <laughs> Silly us, killing all the people who could have helped us. But hey, Lord Sodaly will understand when we give him these, huh? Morago will look like a worthless turd compared to us. Let's get going then, brother. Right there with you, brother. Oh, why must you have died while I survive? <sighs> the king must know what transpired here at once. <sighs> or no. Perhaps not. Durando and Gogus believe me dead. Sodaly will no doubt believe their report as well. And if so... There may be a way to use this to our advantage. O's life will not have been spent in vain. The Queen of Leonis is dead, they'll say. Yes. I shall return to who I was before my marriage to King Elda. Back when I was feared as the Black Rose of the battlefield. Their carelessness will become my strength. Both Moraga and Sodaly shall fall before me, and Leonis will rise again! Soon, dawn will break. Father. I will not allow it. I have said nothing yet. You wish to set out to join Mont, correct? Mm. Was that will soon be the stage for a battle most fierce. Do you really believe that I could send my own daughter out under such circumstances? But, Father, as things stand, I... Have I not already sent forth Adelard and Nitor? Adelard will ensure that Leonis's ancient relic does not fall into Moraga's clutches. 
Hopefully this will also keep Moraga from getting out of hand. Ma Cherie, I understand your concern for Mont. However, Horn is still bound by its allegiance with Fennis. We mustn't stoke the flames of conflict between our kingdoms any further. Please understand. Oh, Mont. Please be safe. What is going on here? You assured us this path was not overrun with monsters! Ah, oh, now I remember. Minwu, the last time I saw you was on the battlefield, wasn't it? You're a white mage of Wizet. Don't try to tell me I'm mistaken. I was once, but that was before. Before what? Before I found myself on the run from Lizette. Why would you agree to guide us to the very place you're running from? I'm acting under the orders of Lady Glacella. Glacella? Just what is going on in Lizette? Turning back is no longer an option for us. Should we attempt to return, we would no doubt encounter Maraca's main forces. You can't mean... I do. We have no choice but to continue on this path. Reporting in, sir. Lord Sodaly and his party. Show me. They are visible from here. I see them. It is indeed subtly. Brother, let me see! Let me see! You don't need to see. Why are you so mean to me? Now, how do we deal with this development? The subtly guy is our ally, isn't he? For now, he mediated the alliance between Horn and Fennis. It would never have been achieved otherwise. What do you mean, for now? You know that Moraga is attempting to betray us, don't you? Uh-huh. What if even that is part of Sodaly's master plan? Which means... He would have control over not only Leonis and Wazette, but Horn too. Perhaps he's planning to attack Rundal after consolidating all that power. That said, it's nothing more than conjecture at this point. So, what's the plan? There are two paths we could take. We could continue swiftly down the path we are already on, wherein we fulfill our duty, thereby preventing Moraga from obtaining the ancient relics. Or, we could keep a close watch on Sodaly. There's no mistaking that Moraga is Sodaly's pawn. Basically, keeping watch on Sodaly might give us a clue about what Moraga's up to. Exactly. What would you do, Salir? I like the second option. Why? The fastest way to defeat an enemy is to go for the head, right? If it comes to that, of course. Great minds think alike, I see. <gasps> You're saying I have a great mind too? We're a perfect match, aren't we, brother? I wouldn't go that far. Sir, if I may, it appears some monsters nearby have become aware of our presence. Then we must exterminate them discreetly, so as not to draw attention from Sodaly. And then? We observe Sodaly's movements from a distance. And if worst comes to worst, I get to kill him, right? If worst comes to worst, yes. I sure hope the worst comes soon, then. I see. These stone chests you claimed from Leonis contain ancient relics. 
Yes, in these three chests. Three of them, you say? Yes, three. No doubt about it. That lackwit Moraga was planning on taking these for himself. He really is despicable, huh? You both have my gratitude. It was clearly for the best that I had you keep Moraga under close watch. Did you hear that, brother? I sure did, huh? By the way, what has become of Helena? He Helena? Uh, Helena? Your expressions are answer enough. You've killed her. Helena's life was essential to bend Stern to my will. I assumed that you would realize this, and yet... It's not like that, Lord Suddenly! It wasn't us! Helena and O got caught up in Leonis' infighting and lost their lives, huh? Oh, is that so? At least Stern will be none the wiser if that's the story he's fed, Your Holiness. And then he would never forgive Elda for causing this situation, Your Holiness. Hmm. I can see that you've thought well in advance about the consequences of your actions. In deepening his hatred for Elda, we may be granting Stern even greater power. Let us be on our way, so that I might meet my beloved son, Stern. What? Did he just call Stern his son? He's quick to let that fatherly affection spill out, huh? We're Lord Suddenly's personal guards, aren't we? <sighs> We'd be more than a match for that whelp. What to do, brother? What to do, indeed. Should we kill Stern, that worm? We should kill that worm, Stern. Brother, things are getting pretty interesting, aren't they? They sure are. It seems like everyone is in one big mischievous family. So now what? Do we kill them? Why is that always your first choice? Oh, come on. It's the best way to deal with obstacles, isn't it? If only I could magic away everyone in the world. Except for the two of us. Of course, brother. <sighs> It seems like more monsters have followed us. We'll have to make do with just them for now. Whatever you say, brother. Links. You're wounded. What happened? Wait here. I'll call a white mage right away. I'll be fine. I know how to stop the bleeding. This wound, it, it's, it's not so... But... Who is responsible for this? Ryu, a shinobi of Goga in the employ of Moraga. Father... Yes. It would appear we no longer need to stay our hand with Moraga. Then... There is... One more thing. I caught sight of Sadali's entourage making their way north. North? So, they are headed for Wizet. Nitor is also en route for Wizet. We must inform them at once. I will go and inform Sir Adelard. Don't be foolish. Your wounds must be allowed to heal first. There's no time for that. I'm afraid. No one is better suited for this mission than I am. Lynx! Lynx.
father. No, I shall be the one to go to Wazette. Father! I will lead Solidus and set out immediately. Should Moraga or Sodori take any suspicious actions, I will crush them at once. <sighs> I do have one request to make of you, Masharee. I am concerned about Dario. About my brother? Moraga is most certainly aware that our main military forces are away from the castle. If what you say is true, and Dario's wife Venera is not truly related to Moraga by blood, there is little doubt she will see this unrest as an opportunity to act. You must put a stop to whatever scheme she may enact. I understand. I shall pay him a visit at once. I believe you to be a better judge of character than I. Father... I hope someday that I might share a drink with this mont of yours. Now, we must both depart. Yes, Father. Halt! Where are you going? That's none of your concern. Step aside. Should you choose not to. Planning on returning to Horn Castle, are we? So, you'll have to go through us. Uh, I won't let these wounds stop me. Huh. Huh. Someone sniffed me out, have they? Huh. You look worse for wear. That voice, it can't be. Ketone, what are you doing here? Were you not sent to Wazette? I've returned. Without the King's permission, of course. But why? Come to finish me off while I'm down? I have no interest in taking your life. Are we not fellow Shinobi of Saiga? In this moment, we are in peace. Is that honestly what you think? If that is what you believe, we have nothing left to discuss. I'll kill you here and now! What happened? I went back out of concern for leaving Queen Helena behind. There I found that she... and O. Oh. No! I saw it. With my own eyes. Her face. Covered in blood and mud. Contorted in pain. Moraga. That beast. It is beyond unforgivable. I will have my revenge, I swear it. No matter what it takes. I understand. I am headed to join Sir Adelard. He's on his way to join Moraga's group. He must be informed of Moraga's betrayal before that can happen. Adelard, the commander of Nitor. Can you reach him in time? I have to try. I am certain I can do it. Although it would be much easier with your help. Then you will have it. We'll catch up with Sir Adelard, and then we'll take Moraga's head. Agreed. Let's go. You wish to know what is happening in Wazette? Of course I do. For what reason? I'm worried about Glacella. Lady Glacella has no desire to see you become captives of King Kuri. What do you mean by that? Did you not know? Lady Glacella plans to usurp the throne. Nonsense! Glacella is already heir to the throne. Why would she need to do such a thing? The throne is hers by birthright. Lady Glacella requires your aid. 
It is for this purpose that she sent me to you. And if we refuse? Refusal is not an option. That is not for you to decide. Yes, it is. Because you would not survive a journey to Wazette without my assistance. You call this assistance? Helena's party traveled to the abandoned Anvil Castle. Their purpose was singular. Reclaim the ancient relics and turn the tide of this war. Alas, they were set upon by Durando and Gargas, and the ancient relics were taken. Meanwhile, King Rob of Leonis's rival kingdom, Horn, has learned of Moraga's treachery from Shadowlynx and begun to consider severing his alliance with Fennis. As for Mont, while heading north, he receives surprising news from Minwu. It seems that Princess Glacella of Wizet has rebelled against her father, King Kuri. The nation of Wazette holds the key to Leonis's restoration, but what is underway there? Oracle, Chapter 23, Passage 5 The Hour of the Red Lion The transition from somnolence to awakening may be upon us. Once more, the transition from somnolence to awakening may be upon us. And so soon after being deprived of a blood supply. So, the time has come again. Though I like it not, I fear we have no choice but to intervene. To squander the right potential of this hour would be reprehensible. Ramada. Huh? Were you stargazing again? Yes, my lord. I've said it before, but I am amazed that you can see the stars amid such a bright sky. I do not simply gaze upon the stars. I also listen to their whispers. So, what are they saying? What will happen to us? Can we continue down this path? A countless number of stars twinkle in the infinity above. Their light ripples through the darkness, and the darkness stifles their light. It is an endless cycle. <sighs> Hands reaching out, both light and dark, taking hold of either will greatly alter the course of one's fate. You imply that there are also some who would take hold of the darkness? Do not let the past mislead you in the present. I will say not but that. There is little doubt that fighting alongside Minwu has been heartening. And yet, I can't help but worry about Father. He is already exhausted, his body covered in wounds. At this rate, he may. Lord Mont. If only I were stronger. Strength. While it may be important, it is not enough on its own. Not enough on its own? The soul is more powerful than the sword. I understand, Ramada. Let's get going to Wazette. If we bear our souls to them, surely Wazette will lend their power toward the restoration of Leonis.
The time has come. So you really intend to do it? Venera should have already received the order to take Dario's life. Leaving us with only Masheri. Don't forget about Rob. Horn remains a threat until both Solidus and Nitor are obliterated. We must be sure to keep Masheri alive. As a prisoner? Surely even you're aware. Rob's adoration for Masheri is blinding. <laughs> he would gladly sacrifice his life if it meant saving hers. Could you leave Masheri to me? Oh? Why exactly? She's humiliated me more times than I care to admit. <laughs> then be sure to make good use of her, piece by piece. I intend to. Let's get going. Lingering will only bring unwanted attention. Deluza, what is it? Princess Venera. Oh, what am I saying? Such titles are irrelevant now. Then you mean... We've received orders from King Moraga. Prince Dario of Horn is to breathe his last breath. <sighs> What's the matter? Why do you look so indisposed? To br breathe last what has royal life pulled your fangs <laughs> you can't possibly have forgotten your mission is to assassinate dario you were the one chosen for the job after all you know that you'll be thrown back into the slums should you fail depending on your performance here we may even put in a good word for you and if we do that, who knows? Maybe you'll never have to go back to living like a wild animal. I understand. Then stop wasting time and do your job. Your target is Prince Dario. I think you know this, but mercy and pity have no value here. Are we clear? Venera, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> <laughs> you still don't get it. So it's true. You really are the craven prince who cowers away from battle. <laughs> As you can see, this wench, your Venera, is no princess of Venice. She is an assassin sent by Fennis to take your life. Venera, is this true? Yes. <laughs> How does it feel, Prince? To die at the hands of a lowly slum rat? Oh, come now. If you truly pity her, then don't bother putting up a fight. Your head is going to keep her well-fed for quite some time. That's the deal, after all. <sighs> Venera, kill him! Venera... <laughs> this isn't your fault. I was just born into the wrong place, into the wrong life. Whenever you're ready, do it, Venera. Why do you hesitate? Has his cowardice spread to you as well? What's this? Venera? Mordario, stay by my side. Because... Because I'll protect you! King Elda, 
your stomach. It is nothing to make such a fuss about. But the bleeding... Listen closely, Lilith. This matter shall remain unspoken. But... This is an order. Now that's interesting. Rob's leading Solidus all the way up here, is he? Yes, your fierceness. Even if we leave Elda's lot as they are, one of our spies will be reporting their obliteration soon enough. And if so, it's finally time to pull out Horn's horns. What the hell are you saying? We had a deal! I will march on to Lizette from here and take Elda's head. <sighs> you plan to just trot on over to Wazette and take out the remaining Leona's forces? <laughs> what drivel. If you ask me, that little plan of yours has zero appeal. What? Now, now, don't misunderstand me. Elda's all yours. That hasn't changed. Just let me go and take care of King Rob, that's all. No problems there, huh? Do you plan on going alone? What is it, old Moraga? What's eating you? It feels like someone's lurking around here. Someone from Goga. Observant as ever, aren't you? Come on out. My partner, Zazan. So you're Moraga, eh? You sure seem strong, but that's it. All brawn, no brains. Were you hoping to test me? <laughs> oh, looks like I touched a nerve. Relax, it was just a little banter. Ryu, this is your partner? What do you think of him? He's a mad dog, isn't he? But gods, he's strong. Wouldn't trust him to watch my back if he weren't. You said he's from Goga? <laughs> Don't I look the part? Not that it matters. As long as I get to rip out a few throats here and there, I don't care what you call me. It's my purpose in life to take as many lives as possible. Seems more like a rabid dog to me. <laughs> We're hounds of the same pack, you and I. You think the two of you are enough to kill Rob? <laughs> Won't know till we try. Hmm. I guess we'll be on our way. As will we. What you want. Hey, brother. What? What do you think Sodaly's talking about with them? Huh? I believe you must have noticed it too. We're being watched. Right you are, Lord Sadali. That must be horns on me. I take no pleasure in being stranded here. In other words, you'd like us to... Go and kill them all, eh? Huh? Certainly, my loyal subjects. I will even enlist the aid of the Sanctum's monks. Is that a suitable arrangement? Suitable? It's more than suitable, isn't it, brother? Yeah, we'll ring him out nice and flat-like, huh? Will you be safe, Lord Tuttle? Without us, your loyal bodyguards? There is no need to worry. Be on your way.
Who are they? I've heard rumors about them. Lord Sodaly's elite guards. The rumors just so happen to be true. They are whisper, murmur, and grace. I have trained them to be the best of the best. My life will never be in peril, so long as these three are by my side. Now, I'm counting on the two of you. They give me the creeps. We can't allow the likes of them to be Lord Sodaly's elite guards. But first... We've got some killing to do, huh? Alright! Time to come out and play! Come and show us what you're made of, huh? Father! <clears throat> King Alda. It is nothing. It certainly does not seem like nothing. I'm sorry. For what do you apologize, Lord Mott? It was I. Neither you nor Lilith have fully recovered from your wounds after fighting Moraga. But alas, I... We're counting on you, Lord Mont. Huh? You are becoming even stronger, I guarantee it. But... Lady Ma Cherie felt the same way too. Right? She did. Lilith is not mistaken. I promise to get stronger, and I'll build a world free from the tyranny of war. For Lady Masherie as well? Yes. Lynx! Hold steady. Do not worry about me. More importantly, Do you hear that? Metal on metal. The sound of clashing blades. There's fighting nearby. We've caught up with him. With Sir Adelard. But your wounds... Don't worry about me. We must hurry. What's the problem? So, this is the might of Horn's second division, Nitor, huh? Who are these two? From the look of their faces, you'd think they're not long for this world! Are you injured, Salir? Not a scratch. And you, brother? I'm fine. But alas, the Sanctum's monks far outnumber us. If we don't do something about them... Allow us. Lynx! Who's your friend? Kitone. A shinobi of Leonis. Of Leonis? Sir Adelard, this is no time to fixate on loyalties. Lynx. I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Keep one of them alive. I want to interrogate him. An interrogation? Well, you could go ahead and ask right now. Ah, uh, we'll answer whatever you throw at us. Then I will ask. Which one of you took the lives of Queen Helena and Sir O? Is that all? How stupid. That's all she wants to know, brother. What a disappointment. If you know, then answer me. It was us. 
Ah, satisfied? Yes. I'll be satisfied when I take your miserable lives with my own hands! Father! You needn't worry. Minwoo, his body cannot bear much more. Mont, I will be fine. Father, you cannot go any further. Even so, we cannot turn back, Lord Mont. If you're worried about Fennis' soldiers, they have likely lost our trail. Then you would have us rest here for a while. Yes, I would. Father can't go on much longer like this. If we cannot count on your assistance to Lady Glacella... You would have us killed! I would do no such thing. King Kluri would be the one to desire such an outcome. Surely you jest. Wazette and Leonis are allies. Leonis is the only party who believes such an allegiance exists. Even as we speak, the elite of Wazette are coming to hunt all of you down. Why would King Kuri be after us? Could it be that he believes we will aid Glacella in her revolt? That is most certainly a factor. Alas, the main reason is Wazette's desire to ally with Fennis. Unbelievable! You're saying that your king would offer up our heads on a platter to ally with Moraga! That is precisely what I'm saying. King Kuri has long sought this allegiance. He is not one to decide something in undue haste. Allying with Fennis instead of Leonis would ensure the preservation of his kingdom. So if we rest here, we risk being discovered by Wazette's forces? Yes. So we must press onward, whatever the cost.